I've, I've been telling myself to stay busy because you get into that and you just cannot get out. And then I just, I got a smart mouth and I, I want to tell these, they're all a bunch of kids and I want to tell them off. <laughs> and I just, it's just like a cesspool. And I tell myself, you know, I haven't looked at the Reddit posts in a month. So I'm sure there's still, there's probably four or five or six more hundred more posts on Reddit about me. So I don't know what's there. So well, let them talk, let, let them, them amuse themselves. I know it's just, so I, I've got to say the same thing to Twitter, but what I've been doing, and I just told you, Kat, <laughs> just a second ago is I'm going to, I, I'm still posting on Zitter. And what I'm doing is just using my phone and hitting uh, upload to Zitter, you know, and then just uploading stuff. So I'm just putting different kinds of pseudoscience and, and stuff in there. And I'm not going to go back and read anything. I'm just going to post it and walk away. <laughs> that should really frustrate him. Any moment now, there's going to be a shit show of a legal storm coming down on me. I woke up this morning going, any moment. There's a legal storm that's going to hit me. I looked at my phone. And it was JD and Rob had sent me exactly the same message, exactly worded the same. Same everything. And I thought, oh, that's too funny. <clears throat> Jamie, well, how's the puppy? He's yeah. a handful. <laughs> he's a little monster. Puppies are. Yeah, a little monster with teeth and four legs. That's so cool. And a yeah. fat, fuzzy belly. Yes, very much. He's getting his shots today. Today's oh. the day. Oh, this is a hard thing for the mommies and daddies to watch. There's Romero. No. You little sneak, Romero. You little well, sneak. We didn't sing to you last week. Yeah. Oh. You didn't say anything about your birthday. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't my birthday yet. Oh well, like sorry. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah, you Romero, get to sing to you too. today. You gotta listen again. <laughs> okay. See if you're gonna be sneaky about your birthday, you can't have it on Facebook. And think about <laughs> us. We have to do this twice and listen to this twice. See if you'd have owned up last week. We could have gotten away with it at the same time. Score. One well, and I, done. I did tell Carolyn. <clears throat> he did. Oh, that it was your birthday too and that you weren't going to say anything? <laughs> she wanted to steal the spotlight, I guess. That's true. That, <laughs> that, that was my whole motivation. It was also yeah. the day of her birthday. So that was yeah, actually that's why. more special. Yeah. She's I, like, my birthday is only not singing on to me. You guys will, unless you look at my Wikipedia page, you will never know what my birthday <laughs> is. And that's fine. I don't, I don't do birthdays. That's like, I don't care about getting a number older. I just don't care about all the, that. So I don't, so make I, I don't have a lot to worry about. So. You see I spent my birthday with you guys. So <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't that cool? And this is our pie day. Hi, Gail. Is your birthday uh, Hello. a reputable source? A repeat, a repeat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all of UFO Twitter is already pitching in to buy me a gift for my birthday. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Oh, there's Ronaldo. Yeah, he's here. He's been here. No, so. the latest one in the series that you posted that was just I I don't know. That's just what? getting scarier and scarier oh you, the stuff i've been putting on facebook i i went you know carolyn i said i'm gonna go over to zitter and see what's going on and i started well what i did is i wanted to bring the temperature down so the night before i put up some of the hate stuff i get and i posted it on there and i tagged all of the men that are are responsible and i said you are morally and ethically and financially responsible if somebody harms me and the guy who owns Skinwalker Ranch, the the billionaire land yeah. developer there, he said, I am so sorry. I didn't realize that our, <laughs> that this would have ha escalated like this. And you know what the post after that said? Man up, man. You don't have to apologize to her. No. <laughs> She's a vile human being. And people so that was be like, uh, Bigelow? No, no. Bigelow sold it to this guy. Okay. This is the guy who went to Wikipedia page. And yeah, I mean, there were people who were trying to be rational, like, you know, stop with the personal attacks. And, you know, there were people who were trying, but they were just drowned out. And I mean, that just out, shows yeah. how. But, but uh, more important, more important, if you are abducted by an alien, uh, will you still be able to host trivia? <laughs> yeah. 
important things, right? Well, Robin well, well the reptilian to... version of her, you know, as a clone <laughs> reptilian will come back and she'll <laughs> deceive us that she's still Susan and she will still host trivia. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, since you're friends with the aliens, you can send them to probe people. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's gonna happen. But yeah, yeah. So they've they've got it's too late. They've you know, when you when you have discoursing conversations <clears throat> with people, and I said this to people also, I said, look, I have had inner inner uh conversations with some of the biggest of the woo-woos in in the woo-woo world, and it's always remained respectful, no ad hominems, and we've been able to have a disagreement, but it's always been civil. I said, except for maybe Thomas John, but I don't interact with him. Uh, you know, he's posted stuff, but it's, it's like, you know, she's a cat lady and, you know, it's, it's never been, he says I'm crazy or he says stuff like that, but it's never been like this. And I told these people, I said, there's a, there's a, a um, it all started with you guys. So, you know, I've been getting bad stuff for years, but it is a hundred percent your responsibility. So then they did their show la last night. I, I don't know anybody who watched it and I'm not going to watch it. So I don't know if they toned it down a little bit or if they um, tried to say, Hey, you know, she's a vile human being who's harming people all over the world and she's awful, but you know, don't, don't pick up, <laughs> don't, don't advocate violence or, you know, whatever these people really really... seem to be a mob mentality. I mean, the more, more you go in, through that comments, it was just this. I wonder yeah. if it's a most, and I, this is just me speaking. Um, it's all male and yeah. I, and they're all, uh, most of these people are interested in UFOs are ex military, ex police, um, or <clears throat> geared that way. Like, you know, they're, they're, they love that world of top gun and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that, that's, that's very different than being in that world. Well, that's true, but it's got that macho kind of like, a, I don't know if I would say macho necessarily, but that kind of testosterone driven, kind of feel to it where oh, well those are the people that are going to be attacking you yeah there's there's lots of people that are interested in ufos that aren't assholes yeah. oh absolutely i'm interested in ufos but the yeah. people who are who are the people who are the trollers or the meaners they're they're well yeah they're they're trolling assholes i mean it's... they sound like a bunch of incels the thing i yeah. can't get over is you did <laughs> things that are famous for this like scientology and this is the one that's giving you yeah <laughs> anti-vaxxers nothing like yeah. this absolutely nothing anti-vax anti the quacks the psychics um, yeah that, this just nothing. hit at the wrong place at the wrong time well they're all really upset because they they had this congressional report they wanted the government to look into it release all the documents do this investigation spend millions on it they did it. They released the congressional reports and everything. They released it to the Congress, and 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 there and there's nothing there, and they're pretty upset now. So, so if, yeah, if, and, the, and that combination, along with Brian's movie coming out at about the same time, just got them all frustrated. Excited. So I have I have a connection I could tell you about, but you need to pause the recording if I'm going to do that. All right, you guys should be here if you want to hear these things. But okay, that was well said, Rob. Thank you. You guys should have been here. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Aliens. Yeah, it's the. But they, I mean, but, the they hmm? but they threw me back. Oh, they threw you back. Yeah, <laughs> I liked uh, I liked the anal probe a bit too much. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh <laughs> recording. What's, what's wrong with this guy? Detail, he likes Vincent. it. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the kids in the hall skit where where they're playing aliens who abduct people, and one of them guys like. You know, I don't get it. We've been doing this for like 50 years now. We abduct people, mostly from farms, probe them anally, return them. And all we've learned is that, you know, one in 10 really don't seem to mind it that much. <laughs> yeah. have, you guys, have you guys seen the Netflix series Resident Alien? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? It's hilarious. Yeah. We're watching it now. It's done extremely well. I can highly recommend People of Earth also. It was from about, mm, I want to say, 10 years ago, two, two seasons, I think. It was like The Office meets The X-Files. They're, they're, yeah. every, everything UFO believers believe is true, and we just don't know it. They know it, right? And it's it's revealed because you see the characters. So it's like The, the Office and The X-Files. And the reason The Office is because it's, it's characters who have a hard time getting along, 
and they all have different uh -huh. personalities. So on their spaceship, which is monitoring and abducting people from Earth, there's a gray alien. There, there is a reptilian, you know, disguised as a human. There's a Nordic alien. So all, all those things <laughs> that the believers believe is happening uh -huh. is in that in that world real. And I was impressed because I got it all right. I worked with somebody who believed it all. And every time I talked about an episode, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Oh, my God. People, well, they, they, people they had, of Earth. They used people aliens as their advisors when they wrote the script. I mean, duh. You know what? You know what I noticed in those posts that I was putting up from Zitter last yesterday or the day before, whatever it was, there was starting to see some God in there. Um, the one of the the well, main of guy, uh, Ron, Rob, Rob he Heavenly or whatever his name is, he's he's uh, an ex marine, and I'm starting to see that he's really talking about God will will make this right or God this, and I'm starting to see that, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> oh dear. It's a blending. Wow. You know, Marjorie well, Taylor Green said in an interview on the radio, because I heard that I heard her say uh, this, that the uh, UFOs are demons. So there's another connection to uh, supernatural. Oh, we're well, supposed to be making groups. Where's everybody at tonight? Jane's sick. Abductions. Can you say abductions? <laughs> Jane is sick. Is there, is there is there more happening than this gossiping? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we, we we move on from here and we gossip in smaller groups. Oh, they're all eating pie. I, yes. <laughs> that I must be to show true. that I was truly a resident alien. I see that. Yeah. I that. <laughs> what a beard! That looks amazing. That was my Charles Manson days. <laughs> I hope they're far Adrian behind. Adrian will now. be here in about ten minutes. You said. Who would? I never, I, I never Adrian? got one. And no. Oh, he's a little Unless late. She didn't Who was this Adrian book. person you speak of? Today is. Well, uh, the hopefully she's going to be one of my team members, but I don't know. But what were you saying, Vincent? She's uh, today is the book club. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <clears throat> but she was <clears throat> tutoring, so she's. I think she's skipping book club to come to. She's skipping. Trivia. Oh, okay. so book club is when you take books and burn them so that uh. you can be warm. <laughs> No. It is plus nine degrees Celsius here today. Are you kidding me? It's like summer. It was. That's it was not really summer. <laughs> it is here for March. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when it got to minus three, I saw a guy with no shirt and shorts on going for a run. I uh, I lived in they were Toronto Bermuda for a while. Shorts, so, like, <laughs> I, I, was I mean, we're Toronto. not crazy. I lived in Toronto for a while, and one, uh, I guess it was. February, maybe March. Um, there was I, I went to a, a a football game, and there was this neck on on one side. There was this guy who was you know dressed in a down parka, and uh, you know big toque and mittens and all this. And the team that was playing the uh, Toronto team was from winnipeg Argos. and some of their fans were there and they were wearing shorts yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's all what you're used to man yep okay i'll see you guys in a few minutes okay i'm going to my room because i've been naughty if, are you telling us to go to our rooms go to your rooms Never, I'm, it, it's more frogs it's a frog all the time never ends so um hi everybody hi susan <laughs> it's so good to see you all um what we're gonna do tonight is something a little bit different we're gonna play social trivia and we're going to actually have some categories and everything i know that's it's unusual it's not just all gossip and and talking and and hanging out with each other um karen had a really nice thought of what she said last night when we went and had pizza and um it was just so kind with what karen said is she still there we lose karen and she said she had a meeting oh that's right she'll come back well, in, in a nutshell, what she was saying is she didn't, when we started social trivia, she wasn't really into, she says, I'm just bored out of my brain. So she showed up. She was telling Robin and I last night and Deborah, 
she's I was just bored out of my brain. So I showed up to this thing with these people that she barely knew. She knew a few of us. And she says, <clears throat> oh, and she said she fell in love with you all. She says she cannot believe how strong the relationship that has developed amongst our, our little community, even though, you know, it comes at ebbs and flows with different people. And she says, it's just been, um, she didn't think you could form relationships like that with people where you, you miss them or you, you think good thoughts about them, you know, or I mean, not marriage or anything like that, but you know what I mean? That you feel like you formed a strong relationship with people. And it was just such a nice little thing she said. So we're going to stop all that. Can I, you, that. Huh? can I tell you an anecdote to that? Maybe. <laughs> when I was in the hospital recovering from surgery, uh, Adrian texted me and she said, there's all these guys uh, that are like curious as to how you are doing. She named off um, uh, only one person that I see here, and that's Leonard. And um, and Susan. Kat <laughs> and Susan and yeah. and it's like I was I I was in I was literally in tears Aww. when I, I heard that and you know what Vincent it was That's, more than just yeah. us we were the ones that we probably said hey Adrian what is the latest but we you know I think yeah. that everybody was was like so how's Vincent in fact you might go back through some of the old videos you might see us saying mm -hmm. oh how anybody heard yes talking about you Vincent. yeah so yeah, it's, yeah I think so. so I so and I tell people like I go to like places <laughs> like downtown and talk to uh people that I've known for years that work at the coffee shop and I've known them for years 10 years and tell them these stories of like this amazing group and going to like Larry's funeral mm -hmm. and being, you know, it's just so fantastic that I just get goosebumps. You guys are just, awesome. You know, just thinking about it. And then like, I go into tears again and oh. they like my dad jokes and they <laughs> like, Bunch of weirdos. <laughs> I, like, I like Rob's response. He went, well. <laughs> Not too far, Vincent. <laughs> it's, it's, just, and it's just great. And it's something that I look forward to. And it's been yeah. something that I've been with like for like four years. It's amazing. Here's Deborah. Hi, Deborah. We were just four talking years. about you. Hey, Deborah. No, you weren't. <laughs> we'll have to go back and listen to the video. We were talking to, about Vincent. No, no, we were talking about as well. You should have. We were talking about the group and how. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, <laughs> Carl's got a dad joke for you. Read it out, Carl. Why are elevator jokes so classic and good? They work on so many levels. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Only this group. All right, so enough, enough choosing here. Let's get to work. So we are on game 206, season four. Let me put Deborah on a team before I will put her right there. Thank you. I need to put Deborah on a team. We All right, so hopefully I haven't done reading of the names yet. So let's go. Uh, Cindy, Adrian, Kat, and Wendy. We are mince meat with whipped cream, cherry, apple crumble, and lemon meringue. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, oh. yum. Ew, not all together, are they? It's just what? a list of our favorite pies. <laughs> oh, no, that's good. Okay. And hopefully Adrian likes one of them. Do we have to guess one of these? Who's who applies to him? No. Yes. All right. Janine, Rob, Vincent, Deborah. Deborah's on our team. Yay. Okay. <laughs> we are, and this seems grammatically incorrect, but I assure you it is correct. Her proved his own memory is worse than Biden's. <laughs> oh, her. Oh, 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 see what you did there. That, and her is spelled H-E-R? No. It's not H-U-R? No. It's H-U-R. H-U-R. Oh, we asked you. Okay. No, it's, I think it's H-E-R. They're talking about yeah, a guy that did that, whatever that was called or something. It's H-U-R. Yeah. I thought so. 
And I'm not every usually... time I've seen it written, yeah. it was a Well, let's QR. correct it then. Yeah, yeah that's I got it. Her proof. Correct okay, it. sounds good. But that's still good. But boy, what an awful name to have it had. It makes the grammar a little better. Yeah, you're. I was just trying to make it make sense, and it did it. And I thought, okay, maybe it's just over my head. Yeah, I just googled it. Is H U R? Is it? I think they misspelled it. Was it still on good. TPM. Yeah, still a good name. Still good. Okay. So you apparently, can... correct it on Wikipedia, or he'll come yeah. after you. Oh, hey, <laughs> every edit everywhere on Wikipedia in any language that is not to the to to the likelihood of whatever it is is my fault because i apparently i'm glad you admitted that susan you publicly admitted that in a recording it's recorded so i don't know how i have time to <laughs> so, meet you guys so when the fired trump lawyer lena haba comes after you you know she'll have a good shot at getting you <laughs> i thought giuliani was representing these people <laughs> <laughs> so carolyn mark and peggy kennedy rogers the tinfoil ticket <gasps> oh, oh, I didn't even hear about this. He picked Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Is, yeah. right. is he for oh, sure? Geez, or is the football guy? Not for sure, but yeah. anybody he guy? picks, it's still going to fit. So, <laughs> anti vax loves anti vax. So, wait, yeah. is he a football football player? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's Aaron, Jets, oh my god, Aaron Jets guy. quarterback. Everybody <laughs> says he plays he's without a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's it. This guy, I think, didn't he say that the uh, Sandy Hook didn't happen? And yeah, yeah. Oh. well, he's trying really? to backtrack on that, but yes, they they found a couple of report reporters are not backing down that that's what he said. So yeah, I love this. This is going to be like spectacular. It's so as long as we win, but it's just yeah. the whole phenomenon of I want to have him on the debates. They're gonna oh yeah debates mm. the UFO. It's like UFO Twitter is the trolls of ufo twitter are running for offices and, and with their maga friends and their hollow earth and uh people who believe in psychic phenomena all that all those people together are all and all med mm. that's that's who's it's uh anyway G, uh, gail jamie leonard and alan so psychic predicts trump will die on an american holiday any day he dies will be. <laughs> yeah, I maybe he wins again. Die on, he, he I think it would be an international yet. holiday. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> there better not be an American holiday that's already a holiday because that would just ruin yeah. it. Yeah, got to pick well, his own holiday. Let's let's make it Pie Day. I'm fine with that. That'd be <laughs> right. Jamie spends all his time, the little time he has now that he can sleep. He he probably has a <laughs> little sleep these days. Spinning trying to think of new clever those so far yes, my maybe at the, at the break he should he should post the the options we had uh they were all very good oh yes <laughs> no because it might be something he uses next week it all might right. be carl yeah. romero faith and ron oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Every single time from memory. <laughs> just say pie. Just say, yeah. pie. Just say pie. This is coming from the birthday boy here. <laughs> we were struggling. We ran out of time. We ran out of time. <laughs> yeah. Um, my thing made it go all the way to the right hand side. So one of you guys got to fix it on my on my um thing. Oh, because it's a number. Just change yeah. the format. You went to general there to the something. side. Okay, so here we are tonight, season four still, believe it or not. Game 206. Wow, that's freaking amazing. And we have five teams, five teams, they say, that are playing and vying for the championship of Pi Day 2024. I know people will be talking about it for the for years. It'll be in it'll have its own Wikipedia page. It'll be phenomenal. <laughs> People will be talking about it at Sunday papers at PsyCon. It's going to be incredible. All of this amazing stuff that we're going to be doing tonight. And the winner, the winner, there can only be one winner. Someday I got to come up with a, with a, with a uh, tiebreaker, but there can only be one winner. Who will it be? Will it be mince meat with whipped cream, cherry, apple, crumble, and lemon meringue? Or... Her proved his own memory is worth some Bidens or Kennedy Rogers, the tinfoil ticket, or 
Psychic predicts Trump will die on an American holiday. Any day he dies will become an American holiday. <laughs> Versus 3.14159265 which is uh, there were there were more digits than that, Susan. Yeah, a lot I, more I, digits. I, than that. It's an imaginary no, number. No stamina, no stamina. <laughs> I copied it. Oh, I I just did it again. It's rounding it off. That is weird. So Make it te Google. turn it to text. There you go. It's awesome. Okay, so one of you guys is going to be the one team is going to be the winner. Which one it will be? I don't know. Mark, are you listening from the other room? What? I was wondering if you were listening from <clears throat> the other room. You could like to make a prediction. predict the winner. No, no, he wasn't listening. Okay, so we're going to be ready to start, and we're going to start <laughs> off with Cat, who is right there and. Right there in that row. Okay, I found oh, you. I found trouble. you, Kat. I'm okay. here, I promise. I'm here. Go for it, girl. All right. Well, look, you just got to forgive me because I didn't check. So I didn't know that you'd already done Pi Day. <laughs> but I'm doing a 2024 Pi Day party. Okay? okay. All right. And you just have to be nice to me because I've had a really horrible day. Yes. Oh. And I don't want to cry anymore. Nobody asked. Nobody asked no. her how she's doing. Just a little bit worse. Yes. Just, just know puppy that. Gone. Very sad. That's My all we're going to say about that. So hopefully you don't know any of these questions already because I tried to be unique. Okay. Okay. So question one, and it didn't put in a number one. Sorry. All right. Now, you can guess the theme is going to be pie, right? So a Givenchy men's cologne named pie is marketed as highlighting the sexual appeal of intelligent and visionary men. What is the term used to describe being sexually attracted to intelligence? Ooh. Right. Yeah. Question two. Keanu in the Star Trek episode, Wolf in the Fold, Spock foils the evil computer by commanding it to do what? Question three, I could have made incredibly hard, but I'm going easy on you guys. In 2002, a Japanese scientist found how many digits of pi using a powerful computer, which I almost said, what was the computer's name? So oh, just thank, thank me for being nice. That. Only Leonard would have gotten it. But the computer is called the Hitachi SR8000, and it broke all previous records. There will be a plus or minus, but I don't want to tell you the spread. It is written down in stone, so, but I don't want it to be a hint. Because y'all like to yeah. pick up Leonard's on a plus or minus. And he's go, probably got that oh. computer sitting under a pile of something in his office, right? Right. <laughs> reach, he'll reach out with one hand. He goes, yep, there it is. Still there. There the, it is. The, pre the previous model. Yeah. <laughs> the Hitachi SR 7999 yeah. <laughs> uh, question number four two famous artists briefly worked on squaring the circle or approximating pi in the 15th century name one of them are they artists mm -hmm. they are famous artists okay. yes What famous scientist was born on Pi Day? So you know all these questions, right? Are there any I, famous scientists? <laughs> in my world, there are. I, I can thinking... name more scientists than I can name Kardashians. So. Oh, no, that's true. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good thing. You know, I was just thinking, I don't think it should be the day that Trump should die on Pi Day. I think he should die and talk like a pirate day. <laughs> we were sitting watching the check-in at my very first psychon and people were coming up to the registration desk and we're all pointing Richard Dawkins, Richard Dawkins is walking away, and nobody around him knew who he was. Oh uh, <laughs> it makes you want to drink. <laughs> Should the Dr. Pepper. Here comes Lee. Should I wait for Lee to read question six? Yeah, just give him a second and I'll put him on. I'm gonna put him on the team that has Carolyn, Mark, and Peggy. So Kenny. Kennedy Rogers and the tinfoil ticket before you guys All start right. fighting for him. I will give him the first five questions. I'll, I'll send it to him privately so he has them. Perfect. 
All right, question six. If the circumference of the earth were calculated using pi rounded to only the ninth decimal place, an error of no more than how much in inches in 25,000 miles would result. And since it's pi day, of course, the answer can be fractions or decimals if you wish. Question seven. Why do some scholars believe pi is evil? Evil. Oh, sorry. Evil. Evil. I'm looking for really good answers for that. Ooh. Like trigger warning kind of answer. <laughs> I'm kidding. Question eight. The father of calculus, which means pebble used in counting from calx or limestone. Sir Isaac Newton calculated pi to at least how many decimal places? And I'll give you a plus or minus on five. Because I'm kind and sweet and loving that way. Yeah. I was just saying that. Yes. <laughs> Pi has been studied by the human race for almost how many years? And again, I'll give you a plus minus of a century. Is so, it a Canadian century? Or an it's a total Canadian century. <laughs> And question 10, when does Pi Day officially begin? Very good. We've done a couple Pi, pi categories. I have a house, bonus. And we've never done a the bonus for questions. you all. Uh oh. Yeah, because, you know, I have to do this. Since Sunday is St. Patrick's Day, what is the traditional response to the greeting top of the morning to you? St. Patrick's Day. Oh, That's your bonus if you need it, but you can only get a max of 10. Okay, good job. Are there any questions aside from how awesome those questions are? Because you've never had any we, of them before. We've never had those before. <laughs> totally different. I tried to be unique. That was very unique. I try. Send this no questions? I don't have powers to send people to their room. Yes, you do. Isn't it under participants? It's it, you've No, it's under breakout rooms. My apologies. I that was I was I looking only at the, have one job. I was looking at the mute all. I'm sorry. Everybody go to your rooms. Be happy. Be kind to each other. Okay. Be kind. I'll put the other people in the rooms that are supposed to be in the rooms. Thank you. Um, so Adrian's going into one. Deborah is going to go into two. That's a pretty color on you, Kat. And Lee. Thank you. It's my favorite shirt. It says imagine. Three. Even better. Good <laughs> message, good color. Good one. <laughs> right? Sweet. Can you believe? Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, everyone. Is this the party room? This is the party room because Actually, that... we're all going to be together next week. Yeah, that's right. Is Cindy coming too? Cindy yep. is in LA. Cindy, they're, they're, they're just living in LA now. Cindy, I, I knew her. she was moving, but I didn't know she'd already moved. Yeah, she moved on a Thursday. Wow. So, isn't that interesting? It just dawned on me right now. Kat, all four women in here besides yourself are going to be in uh, LA next week. I know. I'm so sad. I won't be there with you, but I will be there in spirit. Well, you're going to be- You guys can all go find my man. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to give We're, him a hug for you. A bunch of people are going to be up in Calgary and I'm not going to be able to be there because they didn't ask me. They asked, what's her face? That's me. Sorry. <laughs> no, not you. Talking about that. I don't Rather have she her. She doesn't like Cara Santa Maria. Not that I don't like her. The well, hopefully her. you guys it enjoy the category and do me proud. Well, I'm not sure how proud we're going to do, but it was awesome questions. Uh, I don't know the answers. I mean, I can approximate some of them, maybe. Well, let's see what we got. Okay, so. I love that first question. Did you hear me say that the, what is the term used to describe being sexually attracted to intelligence? Keanu Reeves. <laughs> no. um, right? <laughs> but there is an it. actual term. Uh, I'm sure. Actually, that, that, I, that, you know, I might have heard this, but I don't know it. Does anybody I don't know? know? Do you know, Wendy? You, you should know it because I've said it before on trivia nights oh i meant we were paying attention cindy no i have no idea <sighs> i'm used to describing sexually attractive. i've heard this i probably have to 
and we're gonna all go oh no right <laughs> oh well we have a bonus we can do that okay all uh, right so number two is obvious what is it i don't know well come on oh is the star trek episode compute with pie. Was, what compute pie oh okay because it was either that or um which makes sense if it's because of today. Today, um, yeah. Today. Yeah. Because I, I, um, I don't, I just remember a story in some science fiction show I used to watch where the um, the trick was, oh, it was a movie. Um, and, uh, and it was about a nuclear holocaust being prevented by uh, war games. And he said, he told the computer to play, um, tic-tac-toe because you can't win oh do you I remember, remember war, games? war games yeah that is a long time ago God, i'm very scary. old no that yeah. was scary um but that but that's what this would be yeah Not so you. that it, it it constantly plays yeah um so what do you guys think for three three i know that it's a lot <laughs> over nine thousand. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm talking. That's an internet. Probably yeah. over a million. Is oh, my wow. guess. Can't, no, they we don't know that, used, do we? What was that? Do we have pi to yeah. it? Because they they've used it. To, they because they have an algorithm. They have many different algorithms to compute pi to come up with what the digits are, and they use them to test speeds of computers. That's how they actually oh. test them. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. So it's um I'm pretty sure it'll be over a million. But I don't know how much over a million. And it's 2002. Uh, but I you know I seem to recall that you know cuz computers were getting really good. I, we can just say a million. It's plus or minus. She might say like plus or minus 500,000 or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, she wouldn't tell us what the plus or minus is, so we could maybe do a million or two million or something like that. Wendy, how many does Ross can do now? Do you know? It's like two thousand. It's not. It's like uh, two thousand plus some. Um, yeah. And yeah. I and I was there one day when like um he was almost almost at the end and he made a mistake and he was going to have to start over. But nobody wanted to stay at the park that long. He's <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. I love him so much. So He's what do you want to say? Like a million? Yeah, million? say million. One point five million. It's gonna million. have to be something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So number four, two famous artists briefly worked on squaring the circle or approximating pi in the fifteenth century. Name one of them. It sounds familiar. Was it somebody who was in a Bible? What, what about Leonardo da Vinci? When was he around? I don't. I don't. Know. I, I don't think he was alive in the fourteen hundreds. Yeah, that's what I don't know. I never know when these. Yeah, because I think uh, he was more okay. closer to the Renaissance area. Right. I mean, era. So um, I don't either. Okay, so what famous scientist was born on Pi Day? So I don't know whose birthday was today. Oh. Maybe Neil deGrasse Tyson or somebody like that. I don't know. Oh, that would be cool. I don't think so. I don't know. Um. Um. I'm sure they're not a mathematician. Otherwise, we'd hear about it all the time. Okay. What about Rembrandt or somebody like that? Is that are they? It was he earlier? But I went before. Are you looking at? Uh, no, Rembrandt also, I think, was closer to Around the Renaissance. same age. Yeah. What years are the yeah. Renaissance, Cindy? I think like 1500s, 1600s, probably 1600s. Okay, uh, so they're, they're they're more scientific. Um, I think so the, like in the, 1400s. the Renaissance was the 15th century, wasn't it? That'd be the 1400s. Yeah, that's too soon. This is the 1400s. It says 15th century. So the Renaissance was pretty much in the 1600s. I thought yeah, it was. I tried to think of Columbus was uh fourteen ninety two. Yeah, but he's so, not an artist. Though. The Renaissance was after Columbus. Yes, definitely. After I Columbus. thought he was a, a Renaissance artist, though uh, Da Vinci. 
maybe I mean, he's I, older. yeah is he he's older i mean he's he's more recent than rembrandt right or rembrandt well, we should put something down. If we can't come up with somebody else, let's put one of those two down. I like Da Vinci, Vinci just because. I would say Da Vinci science. because it's more likely that, that he, he would was going like around that. with um, math. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But if you could come up with somebody earlier, Cindy, please do say. That. But in, in the meantime, we'll we'll just go yeah. with that. Uh, and so number five, sorry, I got distracted. Oh, here's Karen back. Let me put Karen on our team. Oh, Karen is going to go on. Oh, I thought I had her on a team. She goes on two. Okay. And for a famous scientist born on High Day, not Bill Nye, or is it somebody older? Maybe like I mean, he's already Einstein. dead. Yeah, Einstein or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like there was somebody oh oh uh Neil deGrasse Tyson always puts out a thing about Darwin Day I think that the person who was born on it besides Darwin was um Einstein I think okay so it wouldn't be Einstein then I think he always says that right he puts out a tweet every year saying on this day mm. some somebody says that so, and everybody thinks it's Darwin and it's like no nah, eh, it's it's uh, Einstein so maybe maybe it would be Tyson well, there's um, Stephen Hawkins. It's another Ooh, famous yeah. scientist. Um, That's a good guess. That's a good guess. I've never heard. It just seems like we would know this if it was somebody really famous. Except Pi Day is, is a more recent. Like, I mean, I've been celebrating it with my students for years. Well, you're a math teacher. I remember, because I'm a math teacher. But it's really gone into popular culture just in the last, I don't know, 10 years or something. So we may not necessarily know who it is, but I would oh. call somebody contemporary. And not don't you guys put the year before, don't you put the reverse when you date things? Oh, in Canada, she means. Yeah. So yeah. you shouldn't have Pi Day. It shouldn't mean the same thing to you guys as it does in America. I mean, except that it's a fun holiday, but it's not. No, because we, we still say March, com March 14th right if we write it out we still go march 14th right. whatever. but if you put the numbers you put 14 mm -hmm. but, dash you know, three it doesn't matter year. we okay. we we budget for pie day. we'll share it with you thank you well that's nice. a, this one here this do i really have to calculate i have no idea i have to to it's an a, error of no more a, than in that many miles so um we have uh, there, there is more than one hint in that question oh i'm leaving it to adrian because it's a word problem and involves math i, I it i'm went. terrible at word problems <laughs> okay i'm gonna go to seven and think about that while you guys you do that good math yeah i have no idea why is evil so many people are actually doing the math on that instead I'm of just dead. doing a random guess <laughs> Which oh, impresses me, but the skeptics, they gotta be right. It's a math thing. And engineers who know and engineers, right? So I this, this, I know it's three. I thought you'd all be done by now, but apparently you <laughs> okay. So number seven, while while Adrian's doing six, number seven, what do you guys think? Why is Pi evil? I'm thinking because it's unknowable or because it's not perfect, like you know, God would have made it have a solid answer not like something that is unanswerable i don't know or is it because it's got a three in it yeah but then the trinity is three but it's oh that's true this is three point what one four etc guesses i've never heard of this so i i want you to have it i'm just guess. thinking because it's just because God is supposed to give us answers. And there's no real answer. That's mm -hmm. nobody's buying that, huh? Okay. Uh the father of calculus Isaac pi to how many decimal places? Yeah, so back then I think it would have been between like five like 300 and a thousand somewhere in that right well maybe not even well it's plus or minus five right so oh, oh 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 no um because newton 
I'm just trying to think. There was a monk who calculated it, and he, he spent his life as a hobby because it's, the algorithm is very complicated. And he spent a lot of time calculating this, and I think he calculated it by the time he died to 26. And then he, they found out the 13th or the 14th decimal, he made a mathematical error, so he was wrong at, from the 14th to the whatever. And the only oh, reason because you can't if you get one number wrong, anything you're gone. after that is yeah. not. It's not good. So I'm trying to think of when that was. I think it was more like 1200s and Newton is much more recent than that. So maybe, but it's still, it was very cumbersome until we got computers. So I'm going to guess maybe, like maybe we should do 30 or 40 or something like that. For number eight. 30. I like 30. 30. Okay. But I may be wrong, but plus or minus five, I'm kind of guessing, but from that. So I'm guessing that it wouldn't have been that much further than that monk. <laughs> That's interesting. Because <laughs> it was very, very cumbersome to, to calculate. All right. So I've got to go back. The idea to... was hard to come up with the next mm -hmm. number. Yeah. Just go look at the Wikipedia page sometime and you'll see the calculations required to figure it out. There's multiple ways of doing it. And it's just going to look like Greek, right? There's some Greek symbols in there, actually. You know, I bet that the Wikipedia page for Pi Day is getting a flood of numbers. If somebody remind mm -hmm. me in a couple of days to look at the stats. I bet yeah. that was a ton. Pi has been studied by the human race for almost how many years? Hmm. Plus or minus a century. So if you're talking about this monk that came up with 26, yeah. it was what, like in the 1100s? or I I'm guessing 1500s? maybe 1300s or something like that. But I'm, I'm guessing I have no time frames right like you heard me with the renaissance thing well, the, what did the greeks but you're on there did the it, greeks it, have anything to do with the pi the ancient greeks came up with romans, do it? romans had the archway and stuff did they ever try to do they may have they may have uh, i mean math was fairly sophisticated going back to pythagoras because yeah. Because Pythagoras actually came, he got it from the Egyptians, right? It, he was not the first one to come up with that formula. He got it from the ancient Egyptians. He's just credited with it. Um, so, yeah, it could go, we could go back quite far, I would guess. But it is, I mean, it was a really difficult concept getting a the distance around a circle and being able to measure it. That was something that was quite the breakthrough. And I'm wondering if it really went back to somebody like Euclid, who was much more recent. Like how much more recent? Um, I'm terrible with dates. I mean, like it was like ancient Greece recent? No, 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 no. Much more recent than that. You know what? My husband's much better with dates. Let me go and ask him about those types of things keep in mind that she's giving us plus and minus of a century so it can't be thousands of years it has to be i don't know a thousand years two thousand years so plus maybe, minus you century know, maybe is not... we go back to like 1300 or something like that yeah something like that okay so go or maybe it's 18 I, I'm, I'm gonna go ask, ask greg ask greg yeah okay when does pi day officially begin you guys march 14th at 3 14 in the afternoon or a.m well no if it isn't the whole day march march 14th maybe it's the next digit maybe it's 314 what's the next digit one five so maybe it's march 14th at 159 p.m and 26 seconds or something I, that's a good i was confused by the question well so would I... well it, it starts at a certain time on pi day it's not all day there's a time so i think it's probably the next digit oh, i didn't know that yeah i think i've heard that somewhere so i think it's at 1 59 okay. p.m and 29 26 seconds or something like that so for the going to the um that one which was the uh what was it uh oh. Pi was in, was studied. Was studied. It was uh, he did, did say it was a Euclid time, but boy, was I off on the times. He said between two and three hundred BC. So do you want to go with oh. two hundred BC? Sure. But she wants to know how many. She wants to know the years. 
Oh, and oh, for almost how many years? Oh my goodness! Well, that was a be... number for the years because that's how she's going to calculate it for Ron. Oh, that's well, we're two thousand twenty-four plus three hundred, so, so twenty-three twenty. So twenty twenty-three hundred years. How's that? Okay. okay. Well, we're almost the 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 room's going to close. Do we know eleven? Do we know eleven? Do we did we get uh, anything else? Ten or anything while I was gone? Ten is I think at March fourteenth at one fifty nine. PM or AM, AM and 26 seconds. Tell me, tell me again. It's pi, but it's got the digits that are 3.14 minutes. Right. But do you think it was AM? Like at 1.59 in the morning, not 1 in 59 in the afternoon, right? Correct. Okay. And uh, the number 11 is since Sunday is St. Patrick's Day, what is the traditional response to the greeting top of the morning to you? I've got such a hangover. I'm going to say for number six, three inches. I have no idea. Three inches. Hangover. I was just making okay. that. 3.14 oh. inches. <laughs> Does anybody know. know for the bonus? Top of uh, the does morning, anyone, Gia. Did anyone get number seven? Why it's evil? Uh, Because I said. So you guys go with whatever it was I said. Adrian probably wasn't there to hear. So I'll, so to hear. I'll, I'll give that answer whenever because we never did come up with anything you know, what I said. Okay. Hi, everybody. I have a question. A party? I have a question for Adrian. Uh-oh. Is it uh, Jenna Lee you want to invite? To what? To the oh. birthday thing. Oh, I hadn't even thought about um I'd have to yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, and uh Brent too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Is it happening now? Uh I don't know. My mom says, Oh well, wait until you get back. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, duties and dudettes. Kat, what do you got for us? The term or being attracted to intelligence is. Oh, you're muted. Oh, just muted you yourself. just muted yourself. I'm muted myself. You it's sapiosexual. Sapiosexuality oh. is a type of sexuality that involves being more attracted to the contents of a person's mind than the appearance of their body. In order to feel sexually attracted to another person, a sapiosexual person must first feel intellectually stimulated. I will also accept the answer of lonely because there's not enough smart people in the world. <laughs> oh. So, oh. So, As somebody who's sapiosexual, I can attest okay. that both are true. <laughs> uh -huh. Question? Yes. We wrote sapient sexual. Is that close enough? Because that's a kind of a conjunction of that. Because it's you, Rob, I will accept. Thank you. <laughs> Even though you never give me the points. Not I'm true. Gonna mine, Rob. Not I'm true. Gonna mine. I'm going to look back and find, I'm going to get citations where that's not. <laughs> These people, <laughs> these skeptics. I must hey, find Kat. a citation. Kat, I'm going to test you, see who you love best. So okay. our group comes up with, thanks to Mark. Thank you so much, Mark. Sapiophilia, which I think is kind of a great word and means the same thing. It does. Mm -hmm. I will accept. Sapiophilia means loving or liking intelligence. Sapiosexual yeah. means is sexually attracted to intelligence. <laughs> they are different Ooh. concepts. I thought it sapiophilia had something to do with cats. <laughs> Intelligent cat. I say well, I'm smart and my name's Cat, and yet, huh? where are they? Where are they? I say give it to them because Google says a sapiophile is one whose romantic attraction to others is primarily based on physical um, intelligence and sapiosexual and sapiophile, they say, are interchangeable. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. you. I was giving you the point anyway, but yay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Google it. I have a citation now. Hey, anything it's, with sapio in it. Yeah. Right. It's only because Susan just changed it. <laughs> 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 I am so amazing. I can do that with my brain now. I just think these the changes. And you instantaneously went to the Wikipedia guide for what sources are reliable and whatever that source was, you put that in there. <laughs> yep. That is so okay. funny. 
how dare you? What is it that you guys use to figure out what yes. if the citation is reliable or not? I'm like, well, this this uh, page right here that has a list of it. You can't. <laughs> I said, I told the guy, you're not very good at research, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that took me like a minute or uh, 10 seconds to find it. Yeah. All right. In the episode of Star Trek, which I have never watched, but I know some people here are fans of, Spock commanded the com the evil genius to compute to the last digit the value of pi. That is yeah. so clever. Got it verbatim. So yes. that's okay. So can we just can we just put calculate pi? Yes. Sadly, no, because, it, because the, no, the whole reason the it collapsed digit. on it was. Yeah, to the yeah, last digit. Yeah. Let me let me explain how that happened. I said I think it might have been to a number of digits, and then they said no, that wouldn't make sense. It would have to be open ended. Calculate pi to the end. So we put calculate pi. Well, calculate pi to the end is kind of the same thing. If no, we wrote to, we wrote calculate we pi, said, pi realizing we weren't we weren't end, going to fixate it on a number yeah. of digits. The, the context it, well, it could be open ended because uh, it, it was it was. Are you guys arguing hour, over a... the same thing that you all agree on? Absolutely. It's impossible. It was an hour episode. they discussed, I'm willing to trust them. It was an hour episode, and he was still calculating at the end of the hour, so it still but, would be. No, you have yeah, to he's have, still calculating. Right, yeah. that, you have to have somewhere in your answer that it has to be to the end. Otherwise, it's not evil. I mean, it's the not last a, digit a clever thing. Value of the power. last digit or the exact value. Mm-hmm. Or the exact value. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like that. Now, well, the yeah. plus or minus for question okay. three, which is written in, in my stone that I didn't share with you because I didn't want y'all to, to cheat on this, is a quarter, well, it's 250 million is the plus or minus. The answer is 1.24 oh trillion. No way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, that's a hell of a little computer, isn't it? Uh, all I knew it was yeah. a million. <laughs> well, you know what? Cat, given it's if, a lot. Order of, if he had a told us that plus or minus, we would have been. So, will you buy? Will you buy over a trillion? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I said it was one and a. I said it was one and a quarter trillion. Wow! Oh, you're way off. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I just relied on the math teacher in our group. <laughs> wow. You're off by a hundred billion. Jeez. The thing is, though, Susan, you wouldn't even believe me with a million. <laughs> well, no, I I agreed with a million. It was I I knew that a million was a um a goal that had happened a long time ago, but I just didn't know how far, and you know, how much farther it had gotten. So Ross is a lot of SR eight thousand, which to me sounds yeah. like um it came right out of the fifties. I think it was Did in the two thousands. One point two four trillion. 2000s how is rob how is ross blotcher gonna do this wendy <laughs> he's gonna be standing in that park for weeks <laughs> by himself for the rest <laughs> of his life he ain't gonna do one and a quarter trillion no. uh, the one one of the two artists i'm looking for for question four either leonardo yes. da vinci or Yay, albert we Durer. said leonardo no. i figured most people would say leonardo but you know Never heard of the other guy. I'm Albert. sure you know his work yeah. if you saw it. Yeah. Yeah. So who was born? I think every single group got this one. Uh, the person who was born on Pi Day is Albert Einstein. Oh, we didn't oh. Not and there's person. actually <laughs> there's actually a, a Pi search page that finds a person's birthday and oh. other well known numbers in the digits of Pi. And I've given you the link. So if, if you want to go first... find out when your birthday appears, spoiler alert, mine's at the over 5,000th decimal point. So that's as close as we're they, going to get to. They would have said it was 14.3 and not Pi Day. So just... We eliminated Einstein as the only person it couldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> Big Al. Team, come on. I know. Well, I swear, I swear Neil deGrasse Tyson always puts out a tweet every year on Darwin's Day and saying this day it was uh, Einstein's birth. No, I guess it's Darwin's day. birthday. Well, I thought the, never he mind. puts out a tweet. No, you're and talking about Christmas Hawking, Day. Christmas Day. Isaac Newton. Is Isaac Newton. Oh, it's Newton on Christmas Day. Yeah. Right. And he yeah. makes yeah. words that says, sounds like it's Christ. 
Yeah, that's Newton. Jesus Christ. Yes, this Crazy. person changed the world more than any other. Yeah, yeah that's Isaac Newton. On Christmas. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, so, so I so, failed, but I do know he does tweet. <laughs> so if Ross yeah. could say what is three this digits tweet you speak of, <laughs> if Ross could um, say three digits a second, it'd take him about thirteen thousand years to do one point four trillion. <laughs> Stephen Hawking died the day after Pi, so it was still Pi Day for some of us when he passed. He got oh. to have a Pi Day. He did. Mm. Now this, I am so impressed that people actually did math. Like y'all blow my minds. <laughs> I would have just thrown out a random number because that's the kind of gal I am. But if they were to calculate the circumference with pi rounded to nine digits, there would be an error of no more than one quarter of an inch in 25 oh. Oh, I got that way wrong. Wow. So when I said it can yeah. be in fractions or decimal points, it's like 0.25 or one quarter or how Mark can say it, it's one fourth. <laughs> We're correct in the right <laughs> units if we can figure out what those units are, Rob. Mm, no. <laughs> Not close. Wow. I thought it was low. I didn't think it was that low. <laughs> it's extremely it's a low. lot less than that. Yeah, hmm. it's, less, it's less than. Yeah, low. Leonard did the math on it. So you know what, Leonard, you did the math. I'm giving you a point for just doing the damn math. Oh, then Anyone I get the math. Who actually tried to do the math gets a point. Rob, Rob, your math was wrong. Right? I thought of numbers. Do I count? You, if you were actually doing math, then yes. Oh, no, I just point. thought numbers. I, I, I had numbers. <laughs> Did it give you a headache? I got, I got a whole sheet of math. It's just all, it's, uh, it's not showing up. And it's you all get wrong. the point because right. anyone who actually all tried right. to calculate that, they get right. the point. Wow, that's generous. Okay. Oh, that's so generous. That counts. Does this so mean we get a car? Get a point. Gonna do it. I guess so. Okay, Does good. We only got one person on our team get the point. <laughs> <laughs> no, you all get you get a point. point and Thank you, you Rob. Point, we get a point. We get a point. You brought out the calculator. You hang out with cool people, you get the points. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, why why do some scholars believe that pi is evil? There's a couple of reasons. So the first Whoa. 144 digits of pi add up to 666, which oh. means oh. the number oh. of the beast, right? Yeah. Also 144 equals six plus six times six plus six. Oh, oh. Also Squaring the circle method of understanding pi uh, fascinates mathematicians because traditionally the circle represents the infinite, the immeasurable, even the spiritual or divine, whereas the square is what you can manifest, what's measurable and comprehensive. John Dunn um, wrote a poem which has a stupidly long title, sorry. It's called, Upon the Translations of Psalms by Sir Philip Sidney and the Countess of Pembroke, his sister. That's the name <laughs> of a stupid poem. Very specific. Uh, yeah. He condemns <laughs> attempts to find the exact value of pi or to square the circle because he views it as an attempt to rationalize God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. All right. So now oh, we so. said because it contradicts the Bible, which says it's exactly three. So that, does that mean that? Sure. Yay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> did, you, did we get it right, Susan? No. <laughs> what did you say? That that. Oh, let me scroll up. Uh, oh, I erased it. Put the correct answer. Um, what I said is that God would never. God. God it's would never perfect. give us something that's unknowable, and that it sh everything should have a a finite answer, and so it's evil because there should be an answer, and so it was given to us not by God, but. Do any scholars yeah, sure just... agree with that? <laughs> I think they get the point. Well, yeah. it's about yeah. it's about God. Cool. It sounds good. It's about yeah. God, and you're well, attempting just... to rationalize God. So yeah, it was just we'll the... take the point. God shouldn't do that. There, everything should have an answer. Everything's right? doable, and and that's why it's messed up. Something I don't know. Yeah, just take now the, the point. plus minus on the next question about Sir Isaac Newton, my fabulous cousin. He calculated pi to at least 16 decimal places. Yes. So plus it's or minus that. five, if you got it between 11 oh. and 21. Oh. And we got point. a little too much. Oh. We did 30. Yeah. We went to 100. We did Same Oh my five. goodness, people. Same it was about, brilliant, about, but you know. How about, how about closest? We said 25. Leonard got it right to 16. Oh. Nice. Oh, if somebody else got it right. Then... Leonard got it right. Yeah, Leonard got it right. There you go. 
great discussions were had about the next question about how long we've been studying pi. <laughs> pi has been studied by the human race for almost 4,000 years. Ooh, wow. By 2000 Whoa. BC, Babylonia is 3,900 years. Yes. Yeah, we did. Got it. Circle. Yay. And ancient <laughs> Egyptians arrived at a slightly different value, but it's a long oh, time. Did we get that right, Adrian? I don't remember. What we no, thought. we were out by 1700 years. Oh, and I did do a plus minus on that, didn't I? Yeah, um, let you me said, scroll up. You to said figure a, century. Out. That's 4, a century. A century. Yes. Yeah, so we plus still minus of a century. Our mm -hmm. math, leader of our math people here. <laughs> She's, she's <laughs> I don't know dates. I don't. I don't know dates. Just I'm getting all the questions. Yeah. Then I'll be fine. Did anyone get it within a century? <laughs> yes, we got the. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we can, so we can you answer in about know, ten minutes. That's a lot left of the century. <laughs> you all know when Pi Day starts. I hope, and so. that's March 14th at 1:59 a.m. Woohoo! Oh. And to 26 seconds if you're picky, but I always see that. We got it. I got I've it. always seen Love it as team. PM. Sorry, it's AM. Because no one's up at 1 59 no, AM. No, it's AM. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we got it exactly to the second. So I can't help it if you non math, you math people had <laughs> the answer. I figured it was a riddle. If you don't I wake up partying on Pi Day, then. Yeah. Are you even a mathematician? I figured it out. Yeah. So there, fine. <laughs> I didn't need no stupid math. <laughs> All right. Math also, some zero, interesting so. conversations were had about the top of the morning to you. No idea. Now, when an Irish person actually says top of the morning to you, what they're saying is the very best of the morning to you, right? Good morning. So, proper response is in the rest of the day to yourself. Yay. I hope oh. the rest of your day is fabulous. Yay, Deborah. Uh, no, Karen. The rest of the day to yourself. Oh, Karen got that one. Yay, Karen. Hey, Leonard, I was close. Thank you, yep. Karen. And that was a lot better that than the bonus, the bonus I had originally had, where you would have had to known pi to at least 17 decimal points. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. <laughs> Not going to happen. Oh. I mean, well, at least oh. one team here would have gotten that without a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm. And, and you would have been able to figure if everybody could have got the bonus if they just scrolled up to the team names. Yeah, I know. I was looking yeah. at. But is it up to seventeen? Yeah, I had it to seventeen digits. That you'd have to know. Rob, Rob must be psychic because he predicted we'd get seven, and I did. Uh, we did. Wow. Well, let's get okay, the rest of the scores. Let's did go, we get let's, eight? Let's go through our our scores. Kennedy I Rogers, see. the ten foil mm -hmm. ticket. I oh, think we got five. Yet. Five? Yeah, we got five. Okay, so at least since Lee hasn't heard these team names. We don't have any math whizzes on our team. Kennedy Rogers, the tinfoil ticket. Okay. <clears throat> Need a historian, not a math wizard. Her provided his own memory is worse. Oh, wait. Her proved his own memory is worse than Biden's. Seven. 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 Nicely done. All right. Psychic predicts Trump will die on an American holiday. Any day he dies will become an American holiday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie wrote that, of course. Nine. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. 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 Which one did you get wrong? Um, we, we got AM, the, the, AM versus the, PM. The pie, the pie. Well, no, in that case. I just wrote, I just won 3.14. One, one, five, nine. You got yeah, eight. The, uh, the number of, the number of um, years. The number of years, we said 2,500 BC. Instead and of, you got, you got eight. So you have eight, right? Because you didn't, you said PM. Well, well they might've got the bonus. They might've got the bonus. No, yeah. we didn't get the bonus. So I guess we got eight. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, three point one four one five nine two six five three eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three dot 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 seven. That deserves a clap. <laughs> one clap, <laughs> just one. Just watching. I'm reading off a thing. I don't know these things. Okay, mince meat with whipped cream, cherry apple crumble, and lemon meringue. Three. I got four. Really. Yeah, because she gave us the one about the god. Oh, okay. Thankfully, yeah. she gave us one. It was <laughs> only your team, Kat. Only okay, but well team. done, Wendy. You got them all, except for you just missed that one because of the debate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Very good. So, um, good job. Good job, Kat. All right. So let's go to our next one. That was very good. going to be led by... Um, who has it? Oh, I have it right here in front of me. Durr. Rob. Oh, you're on that team? Robert, where are you? Am I up? Am I up? Yes, you're up. Okay. Finally, so. you get to do one before before break so we did we did this category previously we did oh, it in god. we're gonna do it again it's it western it again this is more advanced vocabulary we, oh, did we, we thought that it before. was pie day but apparently it's groundhog day because we're repeating yes <laughs> all the things <laughs> so we did this in january earlier uh this year and the range was from six to nine it was an interesting spread so we'll see how you guys do this time so i'm going we get to the same questions going to give you 10 different words or yeah. phrases and i want you to tell me what they mean okay starting with number one igtheism number two is there's no way i'm going to say this right kekodemonomania well it's in the chat number three Contra temps. Number four is flummoxed. Number five is sanguine. <clears throat> Number six is opposite, not opposite, opposite for people listening who can't see the chat. A P P O S I T E. This is Apple related. Number seven. Another one I am never going to be able to pronounce correctly, but I will try. Kekoharahophobia. <laughs> Number eight is abstruse. Number nine is pentimento. Mm, that's good. <laughs> And number 10, I want you to give me the definition of what this thing is in a rational number. A definition of an, an irrational number. <laughs> and Adrian raises her arms with a cheer. And I'm not on the team now. <laughs> She's trying to redeem herself from the crappy category we had last time. Go to your rooms. Oh, yeah. oh I got to. Do I have to put somebody on the team? Nope. I guess you're all there. My English is not so good. Uh, I'm going to share a screen. Hello, team. You lucky dogs, you. Hello. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Yeah, lucky dogs. Uh, I've heard of exesium, ex ex but I just can't remember what it was. There's a couple I know. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to articulate it well. How do you guys want to do this? One at a time? Let's try to go in order if we can. At least a stab at it. Okay. Excesium. Well... It's an ism. Theism. Theism. Yeah. So many. Um, is Ig is the beginning of some rock formation? Is it worshiping rock? Or igneous, igneous rock. I don't think it's worshiping rock, but aren't igneous rocks ones that are all compressed together well the igneous rocks are like um lava and stuff like that yeah yeah the heat heatly heatly molded together so it's Form. everything would it be everything like, oh, like, together, like leaving it all, all gods all the theisms 
yeah believing oh, in all that's the good theism. that's good like most of the conspiracy theorist people they yeah. believe in everything except they believe all of it <laughs> except of what's except right that i didn't actually. do it oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god Keiko demon de de demonizing cacao crazy <laughs> 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 they hate chocolate <laughs> Keiko the demons demon. in your chocolate. <laughs> Keiko demon. demons in your chocolate. A fear of demons in your chocolate. <laughs> chocolate is evil. Because you're going to bite into a chocolate and there's going to be a demon inside you. And it's going to go into your body. Release us the possessed. demon. Yeah. 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 That's great. We have nothing else. Let me write that down. <laughs> they wiped out. That if you bite into chocolate, you're gonna you're gonna uh, a demon might be inside and it'll get into your body and you'll be possessed. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. fear, of, fear, fear of releasing demons when you bite. You're good. You're good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Maybe maybe we get credit for creativity. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know if Rob's gonna wrong. be quite as generous as Cat. Yeah. Yeah, boy, Cat was generous. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure I looked up contra attempts the other day in it because I didn't I was reading something and it was in there and now I can't remember what it said it meant. <laughs> it's like a um uh contra attempt like the like like what you're not expecting to happen a, a mishap or a... okay that sounds good mishap would be good mishap is good yeah con, con how do you say it contretemps well contretemps contre yeah that's it. yeah um yeah flame. sanguine is just means that you're okay with it sanguine you have a, there's yeah, a kind of a good outlook no like, good outlook no Sanguine. Like, like if something's happening and oh you're just being so sanguine because you're not reacting it's like non-reactive non-reactive well, yeah non-reactive i thought it was i thought it was uh positively reacting okay well no, at least not it's I like, what it means. like it's not negative rea reacting anyway okay. i said i don't know i've probably looked that up someday too but it was a, been many years ago <laughs> When we were studying for our SATs, a positive. Yeah. Did with, you you studied for your SATs? I'm sure I probably did. I can't remember. I did so <laughs> badly on them. I can't believe I ever got into college. But they let <laughs> remember back then. They let everybody in. They well, and yeah. I did really they, good once I got in. They let me in. Do you remember what your scores were? I have no idea. They were horrible. They were and my <laughs> grades were horrible. Oh no. <laughs> but it was the Vietnam War. We got yeah. in. They we were did, letting yeah. the guys in, so they let the girls in for the huh. state colleges. Yeah. yeah. Well, I went to one of those. Yeah. I went to two of those. A posit. Um, isn't this kind of maybe the opposite of opposite? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what but you like, like like um appropriate appropriate that's good mm. no is that right no. i don't know is that um hey look at that i spelled it right you did spell oh. it right wow. do you think it's more likely to be is the same as appropriately alike there we go i like Not that opposite i think i think like okay okay what i was thinking is abaxial and abaxial so meaning the office that that's the side of the leaf you know <laughs> oh okay Sorry. okay the so i'm just side thinking of things that are things that kind of fall in okay that, that have um, the same yeah. appropriately i could be 
I don't know. Okay. Yes, uh, it, no, take it away. We don't know. Well, I kind of, I kind of like just alike. Alike. Mm hmm. Okay. I would say appropriate, but I'm not going to argue about it because if I'm wrong, I don't want to. I could be using it wrong, like I've been using sanguine incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, sanguine I, sounds like it would be bad. Do you use it's sanguine like, often? I thought sanguine, I read it. I read I it occasionally and hear it. And yeah, like, uh, not, well, like optimistic, but you know, positive, uh, positively positive. non reactive. Non-reactive positive. I've never even heard number seven, eight, and nine. So I have Karen, no idea. Karen, Karen has sanguine on her pizza. <laughs> Can I get extra sanguine? Cacorhaphophobia. <laughs> so it's like you're it's things. you're afraid of or don't like something. Whatever Caca. a cacorhaphia is. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it's that when is. your cat doesn't poop in the cat litter in the oh it's like you don't like when the cat i think it's up. it's more like parrots oh parrots so you're no. afraid of parrots oh no. parrots or parrots i was just thinking of the new zealand cock Cockapoo. Oh, cockapoo! Oh, cockapoo. oh, the yeah. bird. Thing, yeah. Whatever. It Just is. please ignore what I said. Figure figure <laughs> out the right answer would be better. Now, now don't you put pen, pentimentos in martinis? Oh, pimentos? <laughs> <laughs> Not in martinis. That is very maybe in Deborah pentinis. <laughs> don't be obtruse. I know. Interfering is obtruse, right? That's like. Oh, we on the wrong word? Okay, never mind. Sorry. I didn't mean to go forward. Negative fraction. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, because there really isn't any such thing, but but since that you can say it, then there is. Yeah. Abstruse. You can calculate it too. So ab yeah. ab ab abstruse. Now is that the opposite okay, so, of obtruse? Ob obtruse? Yeah, like obtuse. Well, no, because the opposite of obtuse, isn't it acute? Oh, somebody who's obtuse is just acting. Right. No, I meant like, in terms of, I meant geometry wise. Oh, geometry wise. I don't know. Obtuse. Wait, no, there's concave and convex and obtuse and obtuse. Oh, yeah. You're putting it in a new. In a mathematical thing. Mathematical. Yeah. So, you know, Adrian and Leonard will know what this is, but. <laughs> I mm. so want to look up Kakora. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and when we're done, it John, just that urge for just ab a few minutes. What? What's abtuse? You say obtuse, but what's no, this? It's abstruse. It's abstruse. 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 I, no okay. I think it means it means abstruse means to be contradictory or. Uh, well, that's what obtuse means. Obtuse. Oh, obtuse. That's what obtuse is. Abstruse is something. Abstruse. That... Mark, do you know what abstruse is? What is it? Abstract or confusing? Like, well, not uh, obtruse, oh. not with the O, but an A. And an R, too. <laughs> A B S T R U S E. He says that's what it is. Huh? Okay. What is it? Huh? He says it's confusing, or what was the definition he gave, Mark? Yeah, confusing could be because obtuse is like being like arguing. Yes. But abstruse so, could just be being confusing. Right. Yeah. Actually, kind of like that. Okay. I like that. We're going with your definition, Mark. And, and then put the fear of parrot. Pimento. <laughs> Pentimento <laughs> is, let's see, pente is what? Isn't that like uh, a five? Bird? Five. Five. Pentimento. Five, five mentos, five like mentos in a coke, <laughs> <laughs> in a bottle of coke. 
<laughs> like those little mints that you get they're mentos yeah mentos it means you, it means you have five of them <laughs> if i took away one well, how many would we have <laughs> momento momento is it is it oh momento is like like a minute right Man so moment five minutes? momento is a, is a minute one minute five minutes so, so five minutes how long you keep bread in the oven 20 minutes <laughs> To bake bread. What? Pente is bread, isn't it? And no, that's pente. pond. That's <laughs> pond. <laughs> pente. pente. Like, like, like the Pentagon and Pente, you know, like, um, yeah. Pente. But what's the last part? Mento. Mento. Pentamento. Momento is something to remember, right? A momento. Yeah. Well, that's true. It's a, it's like a, right? So five, what would you want? What would a five have to do with a memory? Maybe it's more like pent up, like a memory that you've held on to. <laughs> like more like penthouse. Jump. Um, they're up there. <laughs> Australian parrots. <clears throat> yes. Fear of Australian parrots. <laughs> <laughs> or New Zealand. Or New <laughs> Zealand. Or down under parrots or something. Down. Fear of being under a parrot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be afraid of that. Fear of having parrots <laughs> down under. <laughs> okay we need to figure out this number nine. Oh, pen, uh, pen, pen to a resident of a pimento. penitentiary they <laughs> drive pintos a memento from a penitentiary like your t tattoo that you got when you were there uh, uh, I, think it, I think it goes with penty i think five is i think we're five. on to something there okay but the last part mento hello it is new zealand five headed <laughs> five brained Right. Hmm. Five headed is interesting. <laughs> okay. Put five headed and we don't think of anything else that'll five be headed. Oh. <laughs> We're just putting something. Come on, make it think. funny at least. But still think. I think that's pretty funny if it was true. <laughs> five headed what though? <laughs> well, could it be anything. You know, like Maybe those jars you see. Kind of like the hydras, you know. <laughs> I mean, it could be a plant. Although Janine would know if it was a plant. Oh, don't count Only on if it. it was a hop. Don't count on it. <laughs> Adrian completely fell the math category. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I I I've never had plant taxonomy. Everybody maybe it's a fresh no plants. And maybe it's a maybe it's a um a martini with five olives. I think it's a oh, bottle of coke. That's good. I think it's a bottle of coke with five mentos five, in it. Five mentos in it. No, they and they fizz Five and mentos in a bottle of coke. <laughs> Yo ho, 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 and a ho. Bottle of run. <laughs> All right. Well, we didn't really get that one, but okay. Well, we've got so many great guesses. You gotta put something down. That's right. Five headed. Okay. We're gonna go with five headed. Five -headed. We're going with that because we Maybe don't have time to get any clever. Might be one of the parrots. Oh yeah, watch yeah. it turns out to be parrots. That would be, <laughs> that, would be reason, that would be a reason to be afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Rah. Rah. Uh, I need to close. Yay, we're gonna get a low score. Woo. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah. Woo. All right, Robert. Actually, it's kind of fun. Golf rules. Good guesses. 
Uh, can we plead to? Uh, can we plead, uh, Rob? Can we plead to Cat for extra points if we need them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah there you go. Let Cat let Cat I score us. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let Cat, you know, let the record show that Cat was very generous. So maybe yeah, yes. he'll show that generosity. He was. Even though I made you do a spit take when you were in our room. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. That's All right. A good yes, person. and that and that was to the first answer about what ichthyism was. What was your answer to that, Cat? The belief in ig. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. top? That's close, but not correct. So uh, it is the belief that the question of the existence of God is meaningless because the word God has no coherent and unambiguous definition. Hey, very good. Well, that's anybody that's come up with anything close to that? that? There's no. another name for that: theological the... non-cognitivism. <laughs> okay, I could have used that phrase too then. Did anybody come up with that one? Anything word for close? Word, yeah. we had it. We right. just, does, does, doesn't matter if God exists or not. Very good. That's good. Yeah. We have lack of God, but no, not that's the same atheism. Concept. We have all gods. No, well, I don't think atheism that's is pantheism. Lack of God, but um, all atheism, God, yeah, all right. in a God, so, yeah. Yeah. that's a different concept. <laughs> all and God, atheism is not giving a shit about God. Yes. All God, all day, every day. No, number two is. This is cacodomenomania. <laughs> As a film, so, Rob, not to be This able has to, to do that. with that you're possessed by demons. So if you got demons inhabiting hey. you for any reason, oh. that's good. Anybody yeah. get that? Chocolate. Yeah, we we said the chocolate demons. Demon. We had what? chocolate what? demons. What? Wait, what about chocolate? Demon. I wrote down demon cacao. possessed. No, we said that's good. It was the fear of having yes. biting into chocolate and having a demon inside the chocolate, and then it gets into your body. <laughs> You have a demon. <laughs> you left, you left <laughs> off any re close. reference to the cacao. Yeah, it's got the demons in it. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be on the, the side cacao. of cacao. Uh, devil too. worship. Uh, uh, so we get it, big cat, because we put the chocolate demon craziness. <laughs> That's yeah. almost the same as what we did. That's what we did. Oh, oh, you're on a different <laughs> team than I am. Sorry. All right, <laughs> number three, uh, contra test. That point. That's an inopportune or embarrassing occurrence or situation, a dispute or an argument. Anyone get anything close to that? Mishap agreement. Yeah. We just said yeah. mishap. Fight, yeah. battle, or disagreement. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. good. That's good. Yeah. Word for word. Good. good. <laughs> mishaps is okay. Yep. Is what? Mishaps. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mishap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Embarrassing <laughs> occurrence could be a mishap. Order. I guess that's I not say. quite right. All right. I'm going to be generous here, as I said. All right. No, I'm sure not everyone got. Um, let uh, him go early all the time, Susan. Slumux well, is No, confused. let him follow Cat. Cat or was follow such a good yeah. example. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Cat. <laughs> Did anyone not get confused for Flummox? We have perplexed, which is the same. Yeah, thing. That's, that's good. Did no, not. you don't get a point. It's not exactly. That I thought was that's the easiest too confusing. one. That's too confusing. I worked for Sang sanguine was a word that came up in the very first uh, yeah. few minutes of uh, uh, of uh, 1984. Actually, I had to look that up. Huh. Uh, optimistic or positive, especially in uh, an apparently bad or yeah. difficult situation. Karen was right. Good. So, uh, agreeable. Or, or, agreeable. Yeah. Or, yeah. Agreeable work. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sanguine yeah. about yeah. the future can of we, our country. Can yeah. we say non-react? Non-reactive is what I wrote down. Non-reactive. Non-reactive yeah. is dead. No. <laughs> oh, you're not helping, Kat. I take back what I said. <laughs> I'm well. helping my team now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <not> four. <laughs> well, we tried. Number six, opposite, not opposite, means apt in the circumstances, hence the APP part. Uh -huh, apt in the okay. circumstance or in relationship to something. Anybody get uh, anything like that? Can you use that in a sentence? Uh, similar? Yeah. We, we put similar. or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar is yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. They put huh? alike. Like. Yeah, we that's good. Like. That's God, good. Rob's in a good <laughs> mood tonight. <laughs> he is. Gee, what the hell? All right, here comes the, the phobia one. I had never heard this word. Um. This is the fear. You're not going to hear it this time either. <laughs> <laughs> the fear of failure. And in clinical oh, cases, is... it's debilitating. It's the fear of even the most subtle failure or defeat is so intense that it restricts a person from doing anything at all. Interesting. It's, it's a fear of taking a shit. 
<laughs> you accept the fear of trivia. Yeah, we had fear of trivia. Wrong. Is that good? We had fear of New Zealand parrots. <laughs> we thought that it was crazy about chocolate. That would be putakateki for you. He had fear of bad poetry. Ooh. Fear of alien abduction. Oh. Being probed. Uh, okay, <laughs> number eight. Abstruse. I, I just want, I did know. I hope most people got this one. Difficult to understand, obscure. Yeah. Yep. So it wasn't so abstruse. Like many right? of these words. Yes. <laughs> but not that, again, not, but not that one. Not that one. So, confusing. Oops. Yes, Rob, confusing. Yes, very Rob, good. Confusing is good. Thank you. So, number nine, pentimento. I had never heard of this. This is an art term. Oh, a visible trace of earlier painting oh, beneath a layer or layer of paint. Really? Oh, oh, that makes oh, so much that. more sense. Will, will you accept nice the chat? fifth pimento? <laughs> that's, that's kind of where or we alternately ended, a pimento with a peak roof. <laughs> Somebody had something about five heads because of that. That was us. That's what we had. Five heads. We had many other, many other five-headed related statements there. Uh, well, uh, 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 Jamie, layers. Jamie thought it was the thing inside of the olives. Yeah, we <laughs> thought it was olives related also. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be high scores on this, but it was very fun. It was, it was yeah. number, number 10. Okay. In honor of today, what is an irrational number? Of course, pi is one of them. It is, I need I pieces of this, answering very that. importantly, it's a real number, a quantity that can be expressed as an infinite decimal expansion that cannot be expressed as a quotient of two integers. Yay. Shoot, the the no, last part is the definition cannot be yes. expressed mm -hmm. as the quotient of three of two integers. Yeah, I told right. I told Adrian yeah. that because she used the other yeah. part mostly. <laughs> but, I, but I also said the other part. I yes, said, you did. Right. You yeah, say which the is not, part which is not part of the definition. Mathematical. Yeah. <laughs> it's a moot point. <laughs> I don't even remember our team answering that question. Sorry, you guys. You have That's from Joey from Friends, video. isn't it? No, I uh, I answered it and I got it wrong. I oh, no, the move the move point isn't that I from Joey? From that's, yeah, that, that's Joey. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was a negative fraction. And... Net no, not negative no. and not fraction. No. Yeah. Okay, negative. scores. Yeah. Oh my gosh, let's show you guys what the thing looks like. You guys get to look at the thing. <coughs> Are there things? The thing. There can be a thing. It could be. A Here comes the thing. thing. There is the thing. All right, the high score so far is eight. So. Mince meat with whipped cream, cherry, apple, crumble, and lemon meringue. Six. Didn't we get seven? Oh, maybe. What did I miss? Because we got the point for three. Oh, right. Okay. Seven. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> Kennedy Rogers, the 10 foil ticket. <clears throat> I have that we got five again. Yeah, that's what I have. Let's hear it for consistency. <laughs> and this one that is pi I didn't hear all the digits 3.141592 close five, enough five. Three, five, nine, oh, five. What? Hey, you asked her proved his own memories were some Biden's we got five don't sound so depressed that's what everybody else pretty much got psyche yeah. predicts Trump will die on an American holiday any day he dies will become an American holiday we had eight Yay. I think next round the pie also team should just let Susan stop when they hit when she hits their score. <laughs> just keep saying it up until slowly. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. So let's do let's do uh, our photo. So everybody get sparkled up. Karen, turn your camera on. Buddy. All right, get your llama. Do you have your llama? Yep. Where's that? Oh. All right. I got to bring a different llama. <laughs> one day it'll be a real one. Like, yeah. <laughs> Where will you find the llama? Okay, ready? In, in, my, in my house. Um, <laughs> okay, guys, ready? My, one, two, three. Smile. Or whatever you're going to do. Okay, I got I it. Really <laughs> So should we sing happy birthday before um, people leave? Let's sing happy birthday yes. before people leave. Because I, I know people want to leave. 
<laughs> they don't come back from the break. So let's see. I know who one person who wants to leave. I think Romero wants to leave. No, no. Does someone have he a has birthday? To stay. Yeah, Romero, Romero had a did birthday. tell us his birthday was earlier this week. What was so it? We couldn't sing to him last week. What day was it? Saturday. It was Saturday, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought guess it was how, Sunday. Guess how old he is. 94. No. 23. He is 3.14. 3.42. Who? The answer to everything. Yep. What is it? Sing. 42. Sing. He isn't either. Really? Sing. Are you really that old, Romero? Yeah, I'm 42. <laughs> Child. Okay, ready? You know the rules, you guys. Whatever tune you want. It doesn't have to be the happy birthday, whatever. Just whatever. Okay. The wheels happy on the bus. Birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. 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 And you. <laughs> Was that wonderfully awful? Wait, <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't hear Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, so now, I think of all... Lee every morning and every night because I have a little llama on my toothpaste. <laughs> Oh, well, I have you. just llama poop in my compost. So every time I see that. <laughs> so every time you smell poop, you think. No, no, it's clean. You can't smell a damn thing. But sometimes there's little remnants. And so I go, oh, Lee. Well, I've, got a, I've got a llama that sings Hava Nagila. I got to find it. It's somewhere around here. Okay. Oh. I, I, need that. I need that in my life today. All right. Five minutes. Five minutes. So I want to share a picture that I took recently that is, I think, the cutest picture I've ever taken. Is that all right with everybody? Yeah, of course. Sure. Like your photos. Yes. I love your photos, Leonard. I'm ready to see any of them. Oh, oh the wow. hummingbird on, in the hummingbird wow. nest. Wow. That's the one you had on, on, on me. Wow. Yeah, but not, every, not, not everybody That's on here is a That's beautiful. Yeah. Isn't that cute? It, it is, is so cute. cute. So I was on a bike ride and I and I saw these guys looking down with their cameras at, at something in the uh, stream bed below. Um, and I stopped and said, what, what you got there? And he pointed it out to me. Um, and I took this picture. He said, no, that's not the picture you want. And I said, okay, what picture do I want? And he showed me in on his camera about 15 minutes before the hummingbird had gone off, got some food, came back, and he got a picture of the female, that's this bird, feeding the babies. Oh. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that would have been better, but it didn't happen while I was there. So maybe I'll try again. Great. I thought that was cute. That was really good. We have a lot of hummingbirds here. In fact, we have a, a nest and a tree in our backyard, but they're not as brightly colored as that one. Yeah, you got to get them at just the right angle. Right. They their feathers are um iridescent. Iridescent, yeah. Oh. Yep. And, and um we had a lot in our backyard in Studio City, just like a block from a freeway. It was it, it the birds didn't seem bothered by it. They liked our backyard. And um I had one picture that my my partner took by holding his his uh, mobile phone by the nest 
that was in our patio. They had built a, a nest in our patio, you, but the picture is a crappy picture. I didn't realize that it was gonna be one of the last ones that you know wouldn't be there very much longer. And you can, there was a little teeny egg in there, but the size oh. of a uh, 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 jelly bean. That's small. They're little, yeah. Well, oh, the birds are small. Uh -huh. yeah, Nests really have got to be small. Okay, I have to. I don't know how to do. Um. Oh, maybe this is it to turn off the sound. Okay. Hi. Are you home now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you had a big day. She doesn't realize when. <laughs> no, she doesn't realize. You may. You may want to mute yourself. You may want to mute. I'll see when... if I can mute her. <laughs> The windy? Oh, yeah, you, any yeah, you should. Be able to do can we hear her talking? Um, yeah. It, it, we don't want to hear her. We don't want to hear her. Maria. We don't want to hear her. Okay, I muted her. Phone. Thank you. Oh, perfect. I was just trying to get there. I moved locales, you see. So. All right. So we're back. We got a lot. Okay, let's see if a we can go through story. this list really good. I don't know where Kyle is today. Oh. Carolyn, are you still here? No, looks like she's Carolyn gone. had her, her, um, her square is there, but she's not. Is there a square there? Yeah. yeah, there she is. There she is. Oh, what? there she is. Okay, Carolyn, you're up first. Tell Are us we... about your life oh. quickly. Well, that's poor life. No. Um, <laughs> you were born. Uh, so this poor life last uh, a couple days ago, I conducted a workshop through Ollie at the Pacific called Constructing Conversations. It was based on Susan's workshop that she gave um, through the About Time Project. And I got good feedback. And hopefully they were talking about maybe making it part of the Ollie curriculum. Mm. Oh, I wanted to come to that, Carolyn, but I tried to register for it and my computer wouldn't let me. Oh. It, it was grayed out. It was it was uh, in person. That's probably why. Oh, that's probably why. In person. Oh my gosh, people are meeting in person now. Oh, yeah. don't be silly. No one would do that. No one. No one's doing that. That's imaginary. <laughs> um, unless, <laughs> unless it's for pizza. Well, mm -hmm. Gianni's, of course. Yeah. So, oh, so, so good. Isn't that awesome that what she's doing? She's she took she took something I did and adapted it. And then brought in some other stuff that other people have done, you know, Melanie and all that, and just turn it into. So what? Own. What's what's an Ollie? Um, Ollie Osher said. Lifelong Learning Institute. Yeah, okay. Yale teaches at it. Yep. Yeah. I teach the skepticism course at it. Mm -hmm. And and you also teach the gavel and stuff. Yeah, uh, parliamentary Robert, procedure. Yeah. Parliamentary procedures or how to hold the gavel. So when I, was, <laughs> when I was asked to join the curriculum committee a few years ago, I did join with an agenda and I did tell one of the people who asked me to do it, I said, I, I will have an agenda. So I tried to have more science and skepticism related topics and speakers. So Gail spoke for us, um, Eugenie Scott spoke for us, um, and we had a couple other topics. Um, so, yay. Who's this I Eugenie love, Scott person? <laughs> Judy Scott, I've heard of her. Um, okay, um, I wanted to mention, I made a little list, that's why I'm cheating. Um, I wrote a little article, but it was hopefully the last time I get to write about Thomas John. I will put it in the chat. If you haven't seen it, it is um, all, I talked about it last week. It is all of the uh, documents night, showing that he was all a, right. good night. Night, um, night. Here is the night, uh, document. What I'm asking people to do is I'm really hoping to get this out into the media. If you guys want to help do that, that's fine. But really, I'm hoping that all the people who've been victims of Thomas John from his 900, uh, his scam over uh, Craigslist to the women who are being scammed right now for not having anything to do with the uh, speaking to the dead stuff, but just that he is, as a business venture, he's taking somebody's money and not um, yeah. giving them the service. Yeah. Yeah. So that's fraud. It's and an so, excellent article. If you haven't read it, I haven't. Oh, thank you very much, Kat. Um, yeah. I tried to put everything in there and I just 
some of these things that are just come right off the top of my head I, I just like and it just feels like it just comes out like that and I, I think that's always better for me to write like that than when I sit and parse out everything but that's just me anyway so I have had I pre-did this by telling people all over the place oh you can have all that pizza he's gonna have pizza pie um what kind pepperoni pineapple of course nice it was leftovers from Gianni's last night. So I, I'm hoping that people are going to take this on. So far, I haven't heard anything yet from, but we're starting to get this out there. And I'm, I'm hoping that media will pick it up. But as I'm looking at the article and going through it, we're finding more things that are in there. Adrian and I did a video yesterday, day before Last night, the usual. Hey, Adrian, what are you doing? You <laughs> yeah. Was it only yesterday? <laughs> and and we really got into the weeds of it. And I I'm I listened to it again, and I said, Adrian, there is so much that we just came up with off of the top of our head that is not in that article, and people would never think of. And I'm really proud of us for doing that. And I think that putting a thought out there in a group like this is so talented. That whenever you put a few more minds into it, we see it from different perspectives. And it, I don't know, I think we really, we develop it better than just a, like a baseline. Oh yeah, well, he's defrauding these women. Adrian, you want to say anything about that? No, she's chewing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's chewing, yeah. <laughs> no, I think you got it. I think you nailed it. We we just kind of went through the some of the court documents in a lot more detail than you did in the article, for one thing and uh, showed essentially a pattern of, of deceit. He was deceitful with regards to a non-existent apartment, and now he's giving non-existent readings, essentially. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was a really great article. And Susan, if you want to get this into a media, one of the things that I can use if somebody is willing to help me do this uh, Quora, have you all been familiar with that, Q-U-O-R-A? Mm -hmm. I'm an answerer on Quora, Quora oh. mostly on political things. But if you request me to answer a question about this, I can write the answer. Probably it shouldn't come from you, Susan. Somebody else should write the question asking for me, and they will give it to me to answer. Somebody do that. <laughs> I volunteer I somebody. I don't know who it is. <laughs> I like that idea. That might help. Great idea. Um, and I and I got this wrong, Adrian. There's only been 55 views since yesterday. Oh, but the other yeah, one no. I did the announcement of International Women's Day announcement that women are done right are tired of the scam. That's got 96 views. Hmm. So and then well the the interview you and I did was 55, but I also did a live version, and that's 56 views. So right. And that was just kind of not a really great video, but I like to have, if you have a live version and then you have, anyway, the way YouTube is, is weird, but okay. Point is, is that I'm hoping that somebody else is going to take this and run with it and not let me have to constantly mm -hmm. manage everything. I've got other projects I want to do. I mean, I, I, I run all of Wikipedia and all languages, you guys, like 50 million pages or something like that. And I get $7 million. Is that a year? Yeah, just managing that seven million dollars yeah. takes all your time. Yeah, my God. Every year. and so I'm many of those wiki pages are just of my family members. Like <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I have it's it's exhausting. As I've been sitting here, I've been trying to get more and more uh, uh approvals because I got to approve all these things. But in real reality, I just added a new GSOW member, and it was somebody I was a little wary about because they came through the. Uh, the the uh, Twitter um the Twitter war yeah. <laughs> and so I gave him a pre training and then I gave him a pre pre training and a pre 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 training so he's got <laughs> three sets of lessons to, for me to vet him for a while so he's he's legit and I just put him in the cabal so you guys make sure you say hello to him and nice everything. but um so that that's good okay so anything on skeptic zone yeah cat you wanna Say what's coming up on the skeptic zone? Meow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you didn't send any of those to Richard. By the way. Oh, I think I did, but I don't know. I don't think he's going to be actually using those in the after ones. I did send some, and he laughed. He said something about an Easter egg. This yeah, is, there's this an Easter egg. 
he phoned me up today about to, to check some technology for an interview he was doing. And we ended up doing an Easter egg and it's quite something. You need to listen to the Easter egg this weekend. It was really funny. That means staying cool. till the end of the thing. After over. the music. Make sure, but unlike I did. I mean, some of you know this story. When I listened to the Skeptic Zone, I never list, listened past the music. And when I was on the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project, one day Richard got these dice out and said, we're going to do the dice game now. And I went, dice game, what's that for? Well, the skeptic zone. I'm like, huh? Have I missed something? All these for all these years. You sure I did. This thing. And he goes, well, yeah, it, we have it on all the time. I'm like, yeah, we all knew. <laughs> I was very embarrassed because I'm going, I really, I had never heard, heard it do. either. And once the end credits music play, I just shut yeah. it off. But yeah, now he calls it the Easter egg. I call it the after party. Yeah. He, he did call it that last week. If you listened, um, yeah. that was totally an outtake from Adrian and I. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Just Easter eggs, that's you know, Catholicism and I'm allergic to religion. So I just call it the after party. Plus well, Easter eggs is... are actually usually buried in something, not yes. after the... at the not end of something. Them. Yeah. Yeah. He can call whatever he wants. I like it the after party, whatever. Anyway. Oh. But so Adrian I have... and I are gonna be on this week. Mm -hmm. We're on this week. It'll be horrible. You don't want to hear it. Okay, <laughs> I will definitely make sure I listen then. Yeah, it's about mewing, like she said. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so it's a very, very bizarre thing. And I'm reading the newsletter and another Canadian couple words of the, the week and the usual crazy newsletter that I have a lot of trouble not giggling for. I think <laughs> he wants you to read it so that you giggle. You giggle? Well, <laughs> nah never <laughs> never 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 i think tim mendham writes it with me in mind sometimes especially when he says things like uh that the new edition of the skeptic magazine is out and about that is definitely aimed at me <laughs> i always thought so <laughs> oh yes and i made fun of that on one episode i actually went oot in the boot you know just to <laughs> to make it fun <laughs> And Wendy's still on the phone, so I, I don't want to talk about the LA Skeptic Camp until they come back. But I will tease the fact that we're really working on hopefully getting uh, more Skeptic Camps coming out there. And uh, I'm hoping New Mexico will probably be next, uh, followed by North Carolina, Romero and Faith. Hopefully. And you need some bodies for next week, don't oh, you? Yeah, Isn't thank you for reminding me. Here? Uh, yeah, uh, Eugene, hopefully and Buffalo, New York, and that should do us for the year, unless somebody like Lodi or something decides they're going to do a small skeptic camp, but it looks like we got most of those. So yeah, let me put together next week's two. I have just Carl, and uh, oh, Rob, you want to say something about the Sunday papers? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, as people who were here may have heard, uh, Susan and I had a bloodless coup and took over the Sunday paper session. <laughs> I always knew it was going to happen. From Ray and uh, uh, the people who were supporting that, including uh, Natalia Pasternak. We took them down. Uh, <laughs> they don't mess with us. And, uh, you know, wasting no time, this week we actually put out the call really early, like months and months and months earlier than they usually do. Yeah. It. And actually I'll put it in the uh, chat there. So, yes, Psycon 2024 call for papers. Um, yep, there we go. We've already got our first submission. Yes. And you don't have to write a paper this time. Nope. That, that's, a, that's a big change. That <laughs> we uh, we uh, ran by Ray quickly, kind of, yes, we want to do this. And he said, okay, that's fine. We did a lot of things that we wanted to see changed. And I think that, I think this is going to be a, a kinder, gentler, um, um, less scholarly because the Lily, Lily, Lily Dell, Lily, Lily, yeah, they're going to be doing academic papers on Thursday. <laughs> So I haven't booked my flight or anything. I mean, it's early, early, but I will be arriving on Tuesday. So, and leaving on Monday. So FYI, anybody out there, the party starts Tuesday when I get there. So that's mm -hmm. just the way it is. Um, and I have not heard anything official about the conference people, the speakers. I have heard a few. And as I teased last week, they're going to be amazing, but they haven't released them yet. But somebody told me, I think it might've been you, Rob, that said they've already filled, they're filled. Yeah, that's yeah. what Barry said. But I haven't heard if the one person that I thought was a genius move, I don't know if they're here yet or not, uh, if they've decided on that, uh, if that person is accepted, but it was brilliant. So 
I always listen to SGU and they said they were going to be there. Yeah, yep. SGU will be there. Yeah, that's not a secret now. We can talk about that now. All of them and they're getting 90 minutes. They're going to do a, a recording, a live recording. Live podcast. Live recording. Yeah. Or do you know, Carl? I think you're the one who told uh, Susan. Did, did they mention is it going to be a special event that you have to pay for? Because I remember doing that the last time they were there. No, uh, the, the live recording I imagine will be during the con. I wouldn't be and surprised the, if they had some sort of they'll have something evening get together. I would I would be like shocked if they don't. Yeah, yeah. An extravaganza on the Sunday night, I'm guessing, or something like that. Well, okay. or just a private show. Mm -hmm. At Tam, they used to do a dinner. <laughs> yeah. As a fundraiser. Yeah. yeah. So um, the other things we want to mention is just that Wendy's still on the phone, is that uh, we're going to be at LA Skepticam, which is the next one. And hey. that's going to be awesome. And Deborah and I are driving down. Adrian and Jane and I are flying down. And uh, Wendy will be there, obviously. <laughs> Anybody else going? I'm really excited that Ross Blotcher is going to be the MC. I think that's really cool. I'll, yeah, I thought he would be a really good draw. And so I suggested he do it because him or Emery. But I thought Ross would be because it would be great to have him there all day. Yeah. And he'd be able to, he's just such a talent and he will bring in a lot of, I think people will show up because it's Ross because mm -hmm. he's got a huge following on the podcast. He does this little podcast. Um, oh, no, oh, Ross no. and Gary. Yeah, I think that that would be a big plus, and I think people will come just because of that. And I think, I think that was a. So yeah. he's agreed to do a second uh, recovering from religion show uh, in a couple of months. I think it is. He's going to be talking about his and Carrie's infiltration of Scientology. Oh, yeah, that should be interesting. Yeah, Cindy Clark will be there. We we're all staying in her apartment. <laughs> <laughs> all ten of us. Guys, the beach, sleeping on the floor. <laughs> That'd be interesting. We can put it, we can hang up art. We get to go look in your bedroom. No, we rented a house. <laughs> so that should be fun. Yeah, the first house that we rented, I think they looked Susan up and they went, ooh, I don't want her here. Yeah, they, they said, no, I'm sorry. That's, no. Then we got rejected for the house. I can't believe which it. Which part of LA is your house? Which part of LA is going to be your house? They're on Twitter. Somewhere by Van Nuys, I think. It was a nice way you missed your plug for Skip Camp. Oh, well, you're I talked about muted. it. She's on, you're on mute, Wendy. What? I okay. already talked about it. It's okay. Oh, thank you. you she knows to all it. about it. <laughs> Tell us all about it. Okay, so let's move on. Other rules will be here all day. Peggy, Peggy, can we see your PowerPoint? Not until you get yeah. all the answers right. Yeah. Are you guys the ready? category is called PowerPoint. The Come category on. is which PowerPoint? The category tonight is National Public Radio and CBC Radio. So oh, I had this whole NPR category, and then I, I was going to do it a few weeks back, and I looked at the screen, and there was like all these Canadian people. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. We let them play. They say you can Is that an oxymoron? I said, um, yeah, maybe. So then I just threw in a little bit of Canadian content to approximate Ooh, the numbers of Canadians we have. I haven't listened to CBC Radio. We just for a lost while. our Canadian off our team. <laughs> you shall hold uh -oh. on to them, Carolyn. Sorry. See, I I screwed my team as one always does. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because so, you put me on it and I don't know anything. All right. Number one, and you guys can mute yourselves. And if you start really getting ugly, then I'll mute you. But um, in number one, in what year did National Public Radio first broadcast? If there's no right answer, then the closest answer will get the point. Number two, in what year did the CBC Canadian Public Radio version first broadcast? I don't see anything in the chat. Aren't they in the chat? No, nope. oh, there it goes. They are now. You know how, you know how now they are. Hit. I thought I hit that magic button. Nope. Okay, thank you. You did now. Now it's hit. Thank you for policing me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anybody mad? Number three, who is the host for NPR's Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me show? Number four is Ira Flato is the host for what weekly program on NPR? <laughs> and five and six are going in. I might just put seven in too. 
since it's little. Okay, um, five, who is the regular host for the Saturday weekend edition morning broadcast? And that's on NPR. That's an old question from the one it was all NPR. So just assume that's NPR, number five. Number six is a multiple choice. What NPR reporter was fired in 2010 for saying he, quote, felt nervous around people wearing Muslim garb on airplanes, unquote? Was it Daniel Shore, Nina Totenberg, Juan Williams, or Koki Roberts? And number seven, what super wealthy widow left $235 million to NPR in 2013? Or 2003? Yeah, I'm sorry. Although, yeah, there's probably only one super wealthy widow who did anything like that. Number eight is what is the name of the French version of the CBC? Number nine, according to polling done by Market Ingenuity in 2022, what percent of National Public Radio's listeners identify as Republican? And I don't have a plus or minus, but I would give a plus or minus of 3%. Plus or minus 3%. Um, Number 10, in addition to providing content in Canada's two official languages, in how many indigenous languages does the CBC broadcast content? This is a plus or minus two. Any questions about those questions? Where does the initial spent? No, I'm sorry. Canadian public broadcasting. Okay, got it. I got it. The French version oh. is called something else, and you just have to gash your Canadians what it is. Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, I believe, is CBC. Yes. Right. Yes. Yep. That's Canadian right. Broadcorping Castration is what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you're no longer sure. there? They made you leave. They made me Rooms, leave. Rooms are being open. I'm surprised they haven't gotten rid of uh, um, Vincent for his puns. <laughs> Seriously. Well, we haven't managed to do that, so why would they? <laughs> well, we embrace that, so it's different. Is it just the two of you, really? Oh, God, we're suck. We're in big trouble. Lee? 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 Where's Where's Lee? Lee? Lee needs to be here. There he there is. There he is. Oh, oh my okay. God. He had scared me. If, if it was going to be Carolyn. Oh, Lee, they were worried. Okay. We all Carolyn. I'm leaving you guys. You need. You got the questions, right? You got the questions. Yeah, we got the questions. We don't have the answers, but we have the questions. How do you know? Do you know these, Lee? I know a few of them. I, I, I'm a member of National Public Radio. All right. Uh, Carolyn, you know these two? Nope. I stopped listening. This sounds terrible. I used to listen every day until 9-11. And then I did. I stopped listening because it was too hard. Oh. All right. So what year did they first broadcast? What would we think? Like 40s, 50s? Probably the 50s. I I don't know where it started. I know the one in Sacramento started when I was in college. I can tell you 1971. Okay, so yeah, you think I, it might have been the 50s, 1952? I mean, I don't have a year. It would have been later than that. Seven? 57? Because it was a federally funded program initially. So I think it would have been later. Are you into the 60s? Yeah, because I know the one in Sacramento started at Sac State in 1971, and I don't think... I know National Public Radio, or I think it was the Public Broadcasting. I don't know. I'll say sixty-eight or something like that. It seems I think it's right around then. Sixty-eight. Because I know it was okay. brand. It was really new when it first was introduced, and I know they were. I think they came out of Washington D.C. eventually. Well, Sesame Street started at nineteen sixty-nine. 
Oh, good point. Did they start Sesame Street right away? I mean, was it like one of that would been that would have been part of the public right? Okay, let's say sixty nine when Sesame Street started. No, Sesame Street. Do you think Sesame Street was one of the first things that was? I would have thought Sesame Street came a little bit late. I would think radio would become come before TV. So, I would think you know sixty seven, sixty eight. Then, All right? right. 60, 68? I I don't. Nineteen sixty seven. Okay, sixty seven. I. I'm pretty sure that that's when. Si I think Sesame Street came out the year I was born. So if 1969 Sesame Street was on TV. Okay, you were born in 1969? Man, I'm, <laughs> that makes me feel really old. Really old, yeah, okay. Thanks, thanks, girl, we're making it feel old. Old, oh, I'm so old. old. So are we saying 68 then? 67, I thought. No, oh, 67. Okay, 67. I don't know. Okay, what year no. did the uh, CD CBC? Oh, I don't know. After this one, right? I will. 71? Remember, BBC was, you know, government funded broadcasting years ahead of anything. And I would assume Canada would have sort of followed suit. Yeah. So I would say it would be, I don't know, maybe 1940s. Wow, you're really early. Okay. Well, I don't, you know, I'm the BBC's been around friggin' forever. Yeah. When was the first um, televised, um, like, the Christmas thing that the Queen did? Remember? You know, didn't they do, didn't they have it World War II, the BBC? Well, they had the BBC, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the so if the, they had the BBC, then I would think the CBC would be really would be, close to it. Yeah, would be, that's what I was thinking. Is so that's the 40s? What I was guessing from 1940, yeah. Somewhere in that time frame. Okay, what year do you want to put, you guys? 42? 48? No, it was during the war, so... And the war was yeah. 1939, right? In, right. Yeah, in there. 1940? Did it start because of the war? Like, you know, they had... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's, what let's do you, just what do you guys think? Let's just say 1940, whatever. Okay, 1940. Yeah. Who is the host okay. for NPR's Wait, Wait, Do you Tell Me? Do you guys know this one? Pete Siegel. Yeah, Peter we, wrote Siegel. His, we wrote his Wikipedia page. Huh? We wrote oh, his Wikipedia page. We that's hilarious. We wrote, it, that's we hilarious. wrote it correctly. I love that radio show. You know, when they... It's really I happen silly. to be driving when that's on. That's one of those shows where you sit in the parking lot for a while before you go into the store. Yeah. It's been ages. I have not... Oh. I have I haven't looked at that page in 100 years, I think, but it's... I can't even remember why we rewrote it, but we did. And the next one, Ira Flato, is Science Friday. Is that uh, what that is? Yeah, that's another great show. I like that too. So it's not Ira Glass. It's um Edward that, Glass. No, Ira Glass is a uh, uh on NPR, right? Yeah, he does the um uh, show. All uh, things, all yeah. things considered. All things considered. All yeah. things. You know what? We wrote Science Friday. Also, <laughs> I, I like I like now. Science Friday. That's a good. I show. remember like we were getting it confused with a different kind of Science Friday. I think it's a TV show or something, and and we were having trouble finding the citations to to get this page right. I think so. Okay, who's the regular host for the Saturday Weekend Addiction Addiction Edition Morning NPR broadcast? Yeah, that's embarrassing. I used to listen to it all the time, but now Saturdays are like I'm outside working. I never listen to the radio on Saturday morning. I don't know. It wouldn't be Ira Glass, right? That's the only name. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Uh, what NPR reporter was filed in 2010? Thanks for giving us a list. Was that one Williams? I thought Williams was a helicopter guy. 
No, that was uh, that was the other guy. That was an MSNBC guy. Um, well, it's not Cokie Roberts because Cokie Roberts is. Yeah, she's so political. She's still. And it's it's, and it, it's, it's not. So it's or, not. I don't think it's Nina Totenberg. So I'd say it's well, that's Daniel what, Shore or felt. Juan Williams. He felt so. It's got to be Daniel Shore or Juan Williams. And I thought Juan Williams worked worked for Fox after that or something. Oh well, then that would. Make I know sense. Daniel Shore disappeared like oh, okay. okay so let's go with c and i don't know sense. though i mean i'm asking if you know i don't know i i would think it would be one williams but i don't know cause... well if he disappeared that would be that would make sense that or aliens well, i know he just it's just all of a sudden he wasn't on the radio anymore and they never really talked about it yeah i don't know so okay number seven that's uh McDonald's heiress, uh, the croc. I don't know what her first name was. So. What's the last name? Croc, K R O C. You know the the guy that started McDonald's. Oh okay. Oh, McDonald's is what widow, Mrs. Yeah, Brock. yeah. It's what? Yeah, the old. It's the widow croc, right? Yeah. Widow, widow croc. Oh, widow croc. Ma croc. Okay. Mama croc. I have no idea what the French version is. Um, no. 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 I don't do French. According to Pine Dummy. What percent of NPR? Le Radio Radio Public. Oh, that's good. Put that down. <laughs> okay. What poll is there's anything I can come up with? Yeah. It's probably like 25%. I mean, because NPR is really intelligent and yeah. Like 30. And Republicans hate. NPR. So I mean, they cut, under 25%? They have, cut the, they have put, cut the central funding for years. I'm sorry. Go, Carol. Okay. I put 30 because there's a lot of old people that listen to it still. When they're not listening to... Uh, um, but, but, you know, I don't know. So 20, 20 to 25 sounds good to me. I'm going to say 22. Okay. What All do you right. say? Lee, are you okay with 22? I'm fine with that. It feels I, right. It just I, feels right. I think it's even less, but I don't know. I just, I. Well, she said she'd well, give us 3%, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to go lower? 3% would be um, two. Well, I, had, I had written down 10, thinking that that was probably. Okay, high. let's go like 17. Okay. And then that would be. Three, it'd be about four if we go three percent. Yeah. Wow, that's that's sad. I don't. I mean, it's got some good shows. I haven't listened to anything on there in years, but well, I'll see. I do remember it, and I'm not Republican, but <laughs> well, see, I'm I'm a registered Republican just so I can vote against people in the primary. Yeah, that makes sense. Caspian was doing that for a while, I think. Yeah. Well, see, I live in a real, I live in a real red area of California. Yeah, um, so do I. Yeah. Well, let's see. Um, so, how many indigenous languages? Well, plus or minus two means that there's twelve to fifteen, twenty. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even be able to make a guess. I have no idea. Ten. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to say ten. Okay. Ten's fine with me. Okay. I. So we're just missing question five. Who's the regular host for the Saturday weekend edition morning NPR broadcast? <sighs> I don't think was it Steve Steve Insky something like that. Is there a Seagal or something like that? Yeah, and there's a Seagal. Peter, no, no, Peter Seagal. <laughs> wait, wait, don't tell me. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Um, we're trying to remember a name. We have one so you more just to go. want to say Inski? You got one more to go? Okay, I'm going to close rooms. Yeah, you can close them. We're just, okay. we're stuck on this one. Mm. Yes, I know what time it is. Thank you. Thank you for that. Do you have a timekeeper? Yes, I do. I have three of them, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Do you want to say hi? Oh, you're such a big boy now. You're such a big boy. Hi oh, there. Yeah. That is a biggie kitty. It's my oh. Jack. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. Um, um, da, 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 da. There's my Jack. Um, it's Jack. It's Jack. You know, I, I, I don't even think I have a good answer for that one. So you guys are gonna have to come up with something. Well, I put in ski because that's what he said. I don't know. I, do, I haven't listened to Weekend Edition in years. I don't even know who. Probably the hosts I know are probably dead and buried. What channel now. is it now, Lee? What's the Sacramento station now? Uh, KXJZ is 90, 98.9 FM, I think. 98.9? Okay. I think it's 98. I, hold on. Let me look at my phone. No, I, I was listening on uh, NPR 9-11. Uh, and then, as you could imagine, in New York... Um, just the following months were just uh, were they just really everything was not eleven related. Oh, it's ninety ninety dot yeah ninety dot nine. Okay. Now, let's see ninety one. Yeah. We're gonna get another low score. Woohoo! <laughs> no, <laughs> you sound too proud of that. All right, Peggy, let me see. Let me see. I want the PowerPoint. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Yay. about. So one of Peggy's questions, I wrote a blog post on my blog that I never touch way back in 2010. I wrote a blog post about it. Wow. Hmm. Well, well then you'll know. I'm gonna top that, Carl. Two of the answers here were written had uh wikipedia pages written by gsow wow. cool okay number one npr started oh. in 1971 it started oh. out really? covering the senate hearings on the vietnam war oh and then um all things considered <laughs> premiered uh in may hey wow. very good nice did anybody get seven wait 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 did anybody get 71 exactly yep yeah. Yeah, I know. I know some teams did. Okay. So seventy-one has to be the right answer since somebody got it. Uh. <laughs> number two is nineteen thirty-six. Did anybody? Get yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, it before the war. Way off. But that's we rounded up to nineteen forty. You know, we just forty. 40. Is 40 yeah. the closest? No, 36. We got 36. Oh, nice. Uh, Dan Canadians. <laughs> Next. Says the ex Canadian. Cheaters. Cheaters. Oh, Sagal so is the host. Oh. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Well, Never seen also, a picture of him. Who was yeah, also the credited screenwriter. The page. He's oh. the credited screenwriter for Dirty Dancing 2 Havana Nights. I did not know that. He was he actually a story about it on yeah. NPR once. <laughs> ah. Number four is Science Friday. Woohoo. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Ira Flato. Never picture. seen a picture of Ira Flato either. I know it's so weird the radio voice and you see their face. <laughs> I know they're I, I know their was, voice. <laughs> I always thought it was Plato. I didn't I, it's the first time I'd seen it actually printed out. Yeah. Plato. Uh, Plato. Number five is Scott Simon, who I heard somebody say I haven't listened to it in a long time, but he's was oh, that what he looks like? Oh my gosh, not oh, anything like it before. <laughs> oh my gosh. I <laughs> bet he's been hosting me. 1985. Wow. Well, although he spent a few years uh, during the first Iraq war, he actually was reporting in Iraq. <laughs> Number six, you, some of you remembered Juan Williams. Juan Williams. And, oh, oh, yeah. He got canned. Yep. That's what I wrote a blog post about. 
You, uh, you made it easier. But he just disappeared. You made it easy by <laughs> saying he. That eliminated two people yeah. right off the bat. <laughs> oh, did she? Yeah. Yep. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> of more. Oh. Number oh. seven is Joan Cross. Oh, she's McDonald's. Yes, Harris. darn it. Ah. She yep. left a ton of money, strangely, to NPR. It was very impressive. <laughs> was she her, and she, was, her family was from the McDonald's family, right? Her husband. Yeah. That's what we wrote, McDonald's family, but that's what the <laughs> golden arches are for. Oh, excuse me. Um, we get the I name am. though. Yeah. So number eight is Radio Canada or Radio, EC Radio Canada. Oh, that's the French job. version. Oh. Radio Leonard, Radio I'd never heard Radio ICI Canada. before. I never I've never heard of that either. This it's, must be a new easy. invention. It's I love Radio that we have both answers. We're arguing about it. Yeah, oh, really? Go, Peggy. Yeah. Our, our Canadian said Radio Do Canada. Is that good enough? Nope. No. It's a lot of Canada. Cat, cat's not in charge anymore. Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh, number wow. nine. Act, this actually surprised me. 32.7% wow. wow. of their membership wow. is actually Republican. All right. Wow. We, kept going. we really did not think well of them. I did wow. say thirty. I said thirty. Wow! They're all they're all Democrats trolls. They're all trolls. Yeah, we're we're all by point one? four. Yep. Sorry. Well, anyway, I hope so. But we got it. Well, wait let's... a minute. That doesn't make sense to say independent and no affiliation. Independent means no affiliation. No, it. Mm, I think uh, some people are registered. No, it doesn't. Independent. No, it does party not. The independent different. party. No, no. They are not, they don't mean the American Independent Party. There are not 20, there's not 24% of the population that's in that. But party. people can declare themselves independent, which is different than saying they I'm not. They made a lousy survey when they asked the question. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, we're going on to number 10. It's the same thing. <laughs> there are you, eight Peggy. indigenous languages that are broadcast on the, on the CBC. Oh. With and the, their uh, names are up there, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce anything after the Cree name, but um, those are them. The Cree and Nuktatuk. Wow. Ekto, Diniyati, Solain. Cat, neither of us were right. Cling on. Which in? <laughs> if we would have stayed with my original guess, Adrian, we would have got the point. Oh, that's too bad. So wait, oh, so let we me missed ask by you, one. Darn. On the yeah. indigenous peoples, um, indigenous languages, are okay. they are they trans? Well, any languages actually are they taking languages? Are they totally different programs, or are they taking like wait, wait, don't tell me, and translating it into Cree? Well, I was afraid somebody would ask that. So what I'm assuming, and there wasn't a whole lot of information around, and I didn't actually get a master's in the subject. I'm assuming that <laughs> there, there are certain areas where they will broadcast like local stuff in these languages, and but they broadcast regularly in those languages. But I, I doubt very much that they're translating everything on the CBC. But yeah, oh, no, no, it's, they're, it's very, they're it's not. Shows. Just that would be very can... hard to do. Wait, wait, don't yeah. tell me with. You right. Know, no, no, they wouldn't be doing. Wait, wait, because it's Canada. Mm -hmm. They would be doing the Canadian versions of those things, but mm -hmm. probably not. That was fun. Atombe. Atombe. Good job. Are you oh, leaving, leaving, Carolyn? Did the cats Bye, did Carolyn. Cats kidnap you? Bye, Bye Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Good thing she didn't leave till now, because otherwise it'd be me and Lee, <laughs> and that would mean it would be just Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And that, uh, yeah. So now it's Peggy and Lee. So it's only the two of them. So has to Peggy, and Lee, Peggy Lee. Lee early. So yes, that's Peggy Lee. Right for Sunday Peggy paper Lee. proposal. Oh, I got I have a job. I have something I get to do. I get to show you the scores, right? You betcha. Mm -hmm. This job is amazing. Okay. So we got some big differences. 10 to 16. Let's see if we can make it up. Kennedy Rogers, the 10 foil ticket. That's got to be Lee. No, oh, I counted four. Oh, oh. oh. Wah, wah. I'm sorry, team. Wah, yeah. wah. Okay. Mince <clears throat> meat with whipped cream, cherry, apple, crumble, and lemon meringue. Three. Ooh. Her proved his own memory is worse than Biden's. I well, I don't, I don't feel so bad because we also four. got four. 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 Or, yeah, that's what I counted to. Okay, this one is three point one four one five nine two six five three two five. Okay, 
Uh, no, you're supposed to go and I'm supposed to stop you when you hit her number. Okay. <laughs> Three. <laughs> one. It's a seven. This is taking oh, too we long. Would be there for a while. Wow. <laughs> I'll be in there a few minutes. Seven. Damn. Uh, Real strong in NPR, not so much in CBC. Oh, yeah. Psyche yeah. predicts Trump will die on an American holiday. Any day he dies, he will become an American holiday. We had five. Ooh. Oh, wow. 4.6. I like it. I like it when it's difficult yeah. like that. That's Susan likes the tough. book for us. And mm, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it didn't make it didn't bunch up the difference too much, but it did take some. Very, very good. Thank you, Peggy. Great graphics as usual. So J Jaime, there you are. Oh, what do you got over there? It's double people. Oh my God. What is it? Twins? Oops, I, I muted you. Sorry, I muted you when I meant to give you your pops. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I was doing. I was so excited looking at these pictures of these people. <laughs> oh, I know some of these. Okay, hopefully okay. it's about these things. All set? Yeah. Okay, the category is classic TV show locations. I'll give you a list of TV shows. You give the city or the town. It's either real or fictional where the show was supposed to have taken place. Okay. Hmm. Otherwise the answer okay. would all be Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood, exactly. Perfect. I'm just gonna post all the, okay, we'll oh. go through these. Okay. Let's go on. Okay, hold on. It's new software. Holding. I'm gonna fall. Arms are getting tired. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I so Jewel. here this goes. So number one, the Mary Tyler Moore show. Hi, Jewel. Two is Happy Days. Three is Home Improvement. Four is Saint Elsewhere. Five is House. Six is Bewitched. Seven, The Munsters. Eight, Dennis the Menace. Nine, Bonanza, give the town or the city closest to the Ponderosa Ranch. And 10 is the Dick Van Dyke Show, the location of where the Petries lived. That's all, folks. Wow. Oh, that's a nice, easy, easy to... Um... Easy, quick. Yeah, very easy to quick, make okay. time there. Good job. Well, I need your help, Susan, to close up the rooms. Okay. Do you need to open them? Oh, you yeah, got okay. that done. Okay, all set. Everybody's got a room? Okay. We're right there, you guys. And I'm going to four. Oh, that's right. It is Minneapolis. Absolutely right. Very good. Happy days um, was. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I'm just looking for the ones I might know, and I, I'm just wondering. Um, All right, Mary Tyler Moore. What am I? What am I doing wrong here? Um, Mary Tyler Moore was Minneapolis. Right. Is it Minneapolis or Saint Paul, or is both? I don't know. Minneapolis. 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 They always show the big building, you know, that their office building, which is out in front. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I have never seen Home Improvement. Yeah, uh, that was it was Michigan, um, Detroit. Detroit. It was definitely Michigan. So. So why don't you put Detroit? And... Yeah. Thing else where I've never seen an episode of that. Um, I've seen that one too, but I don't. Where was I? Don't other? remember that. Was one. that in, would that have been Chicago? Could be. It's a hospital, right? It's a hospital, yeah. Uh, Chicago sounds good, and I've never seen House. House was in Princeton, New Jersey. Ooh. Oh, uh, I think it was the Princeton Plainview Hospital. Wow! And, um, be, uh, I try. Bewitched had to be in Florida because uh, because of the uh, the astronaut. 
No, Bewitch was uh, that's I love Jean. Texas. Of oh, you're right. You're right. I had the wrong the wrong thing. Bewitch is Texas, really? No, nobody had an accent. It's a military base. So I don't know. Beyond Bewitch that. didn't have a military base. No, I'm. I, you're right. I was thinking of the other of, uh, of I dream of Jeannie. I dream of Jeannie. Yeah, that was Cape. That was Cape Canaveral. Yeah. Uh, right. Bewitched. I thought it was L.A. Could be. I was filmed there, but. But yeah, nobody no has a Texas accent. Right. No, it's going to be somewhere else. And the monsters. I don't remember where they were. Were they any place real? Well, it could be a fake one. He says. Yeah. Dennis Menace is a park over uh, about a half an hour away from me. Dennis Menace Park. But I don't know. I, I've never seen the show. He was a I local. I watching the show, but I don't remember where it took place. It wasn't an important part of the show. Um, Dick Van Dyke was New Rochelle. New Rochelle. Where is that at? New York. Upstate New York. New York. And Bonanza's Carson City. Um, Virginia City. Oh, yeah, that was the closest. Virginia City? Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, so are you getting together with Mr. Lemon? Nevada. Mm-hmm. Well, we got a few. Are you guys in the lead? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the Menace and the Monsters. I don't even I remember seeing that. Place. New Rochelle, that's right. Wow. My guess would be something like Spring Springville or something. Springtown isn't that the most common? Springfield. Springfield. Was I, was it was it? Are you talking about Dennis Menace? Yeah. D yeah. Does it have to be a real place? No. No. But which one? I'm just writing Springfield because I don't know. Does anybody know? Not a clue. I've never seen the show. I don't. I don't. I don't and think any I any town ago. USA. It was a long time ago. The monsters were. Weird. Someplace creepy. Wouldn't it be like um Yeah, it was probably like a creepy like name. Hills or something. It was probably not a real place. It was probably, you know, Monsterville or something. Right. Well, weren't the monster the monsters supposed to be uh, um like in the middle of a normal city or a normal town or something? Yeah, a big part of the monsters was that they're the they're Ugly, their ugly daughter was actually beautiful. Oh, by our standards, yeah, that's right. No, no, she was. It was that she. They had sort of a. They had their 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 monstery family, and then they had a real attractive young blonde uh, blonde, uh, blonde right. daughter. Yeah, and they said and the whole point oh, was that know, they she... were embarrassed about her. Yeah. Right. Ugly. Yeah. There was in this picture. Uh, uh, there was a picture of. Uh, of Gillig uh, Gilligan back there. So, but that's not one of the questions, is it? No. No. no he wasn't giving it away. Because I was trying to think where. I mean, they were on an island. Yeah. So in the monster, really she was. It was a regular town, like you know, where they met people regularly. Yeah, it was going to be. It was going. It's going to be some bland town name, but I think it's right. fake. So that's not going to help. Well, I'll try Springfield for that one too. <laughs> <laughs> um, unless you can come up with something better. Now, was Saint Elsewhere, Chicago? I think this we wrote. Yeah, yeah. we wrote. Um, I remember the show. I think it was Boston. Said. I think it was Boston, not Chicago. I All think right. Boston sounds better to me, too. Yeah, yeah. Definitely in a big city. Yeah. 
I like Boston better. Did they have okay. an accent? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Some of them did. And it was called St. Elsewhere. It was really St. Allegis. All right. That was the real name. So Boston, yeah, it was a sophisticated type place, right? Right. Unlike Chicago. I like Chicago, that's right. Because we know no one in Chicago has any sophistication at all. Not on television, they don't. I mean, can you imagine, like, classical music in Chicago? That's oh, my be, gosh. Unimagin unimaginable. I'm sure nobody unimaginable. even has a piano there or anything like that. That's right. Or one of those big string instrument thingies. Oh, big string. A string, a big violin. Oh, that's hey, all for, that's hey, all for on, on Saturday, I got to go downtown because I'm playing a concert and, you know, right in the, you know, in the loop. And it's the same day that afternoon they go and dye the Chicago River green. And so everybody in the city, if the weather's nice and be down there, it's going to be hell trying to get to the place. Oh, lucky you. Yeah. And there's, I think, a U in Milwaukee. Not that it matters the spelling. We're not worrying about yeah, spelling. It doesn't look right at all. Yeah, there's a U after the A. This is part of the reason I don't need to know how to spell it. I anymore. never volunteered to do anything that involves spelling because I can't, I can't, I might be able to tell it's wrong, but I can't yeah. tell you why. Have you ever had a, had a time where you're writing out or you're reading a word that you look at probably every single day of your life and you look at it and for some reason that word looks like Chinese. You, you oh, yeah. it, it's, it's it's so weird. You just look and look and look and you can't and you and it, it's just and the word that gets me that way most often that's the most common is weird. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. W E I R D uh, yeah. February is one of my problems. Well, have you heard the I, that I've heard it attributed probably incorrectly, but how you pronounce G H O T I in English? C H G H O T I. Fish. 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 Right. Right. Why would you say it that way? Why would well, you why pronounce G H the way is the way you do in enough? Oh. Pronounce O the way you do in women. And then G I the way you do in ambitious. So G H O T but, I spell fish. But it's not even a real word. That's not a fish. Fish is F I S H. It's a it's, it's a commentary on how bad English spelling Susan, and write and look. Oh, Google G H O T I. You think it'll come up? G H O T I. I know it'll come up. Oh, G H O T I. Really? And if and if that doesn't work, add Shaw to it. Because yeah, George is, Bernard Shaw fun. came up with it. Okay, I thought oh, it's got I a Wikipedia it page. How about that? Of, but I'm of sure course, I it does. That. You would correct me. <laughs> uh, you can't see. Okay, but yeah, it says right here, right off the bat. Oh, it says, uh, yeah. it "It's pronounced regularly. just like fish." <laughs> Welcome to the English language. <laughs> yep, it says that it's it's a like to insult or point out the irregularities in English spelling and pronunciation. There's a there's a comedian. I've seen him only in shorts now, but he's a Finnish a Finnish guy. Um, um damn it, I wish I could remember his name. Ismo. But the guy's hysterical. He's a very deadpan and he basically does his commentary on English language, you know, and 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 learning learning the way words are. You should you look him up. Uh, I S M O. Uh, very very funny the you know the, his description of some of these uh, you know English, weird english words <laughs> yeah i walked a thorough perfectly good english oh ick I, I mean, I can't imagine somebody having to try and learn learn English. You yes. know, uh, it's and, well, except there's so many examples to listen to it on, like movies and stuff like that. But well, you can learn the language, but then, but if you see it written, 
I tell you what, the first, of course, it's. A, I guess we're talking uh, maybe, I don't know what language it is. I remember the, in, an article when I was a kid in Life magazine on some city named Tucson. And I'm like, where the hell is Tuxin? But actually, what language is Tucson? Oh, Tucson, Tucson? Oh. Yeah, what, the, what language would that be? I didn't That's, realize what you were saying. I taught English as a second language very, very briefly many, many, many years ago. And I had beginning students, and it was at the International Institute. And one day, the student, one of the students came to me, and she said, um, I don't understand the class across the hall is studying Finnish. What are they finishing? Oh. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You get that with names, too. I, I, I was on a Sinai trip a long time ago, and I'm, I'm with there's there was I was with uh, sitting next to a, a German woman. And she she says, uh, why, why do you pronounce your name Steiner? I said, because that's how you pronounce it. She says, no, in English, you pronounce um, E-I as E, Steiner. And I said, what do you, and I got really defensive. I said, what are you telling me how to, how to speak my own language? She says, okay, tell me, tell me what other words are pronounced I when you have an E-I. And there weren't a whole lot of them, I think. Um, <laughs> you got schooled by German. A beer stein. But what? who the hell, but since, since when is uh, pronunciation logical? Yeah, I mean, it was just it was just so weird. Well, in English, it, yeah, it actually is logical if you know the history of the word. That well, doesn't make it logical. <laughs> yeah, that, that does not make it logical. Well, that's true. That makes it explicable. Uh, hey, Susan, can, Susan, can you start the I'll be timer? Back. Sure, I'll be there. Yeah. I think I think most people are done. Yeah, that was a fun category. That was fun. Okay. Good discussion. I a lot of them I have not seen, or I never mm. had a clue. <clears throat> Some of these are very wow. Yeah, we had a couple we didn't know, Jamie. No, you gave us that. See, so I put you guys I, on. I put you siblings fun. on a team together. Just FYI, <laughs> I can be nice yeah. like that once in a while. No, it's or nice. Maybe it's I that shouldn't. Being nice. Maybe I no, shouldn't. you should. It, it's, it's the only opportunity we have to socialize face to face. It's nice. Face to face, sort of. Yeah. No, it's nice. We are face to face. That's why it's so strange when they meet the people in person at Psycon. We spent a lot yeah. of time saying, oh, you're really oh, tall, yeah. aren't you? Oh, <laughs> well, that yeah. was only for Adrian. <laughs> a little bit yeah. longer, and we're going to have, I'm already starting to think about Psycon. It's going to be here before we know it. I'm very excited about it, but I think they're not going to be back the next year. Um, why do you think that? Uh, because the things they're saying. Are you talking about Dawkins? No, uh, I'm actually talking about one of the the people from from the. I, I gave some ideas about. Speakers. Oh, you have some knowledge I don't have, huh? Well, I don't know if I do or not, but I think they're talking about not coming back. They don't have a reservation yet in Las Vegas. The oh, well, then year. that's a serious thing because he usually has them a year in advance. Exactly. Um, you know, he knows more than a year in advance. Well, they've been and talking about doing a. I suggested a new place that wasn't on the strip, and he didn't want to talk about it. Ooh. Well, they've been so. talking about getting a world one done. They want to go down to South America or they want to go to Europe, or I mean, they, they've been. And you see, Leonard's keeping his mouth shut over here like a good boy. But um, okay, everybody back. Hi, everybody is front. Okay, let me give you the answers. Where's everybody? Oh, okay. Yeah. By the way, we're we number one. Again. The Mary Tyler Moore Show took place in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, yeah, yeah. one That's point. Right. Yeah. Number two, happy days. People should have gotten this happy days with Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, Laverne and Shirley, oh. they worked in a brewery. Remember? A brewery in Mil Oh, that's right. They worked in a brewery. Home improvement, you always talked about this, was in Detroit, Michigan. Oh. Yay, nope. Faith. Or remember yeah. Faith. Number Damn four, <laughs> St. Elsewhere. Uh, St. Elsewhere is in Boston. 
Good job. Good job, Leonard, making this change. You were right, Deborah. <laughs> then number five, House. Um, just give you a hint. The opening, the opening scene of House shows the physics building of Princeton University. Oh. So it's Princeton, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good job, team. Number six, Bewitched, took place in Westport, Connecticut. <gasps> oh, Westport. Oh. oh, that sounds familiar. Don't is that a real town or is that a made up name? Places. No, that's that, no, Westport is in the South Park. Mm. That sort of South Island. Connecticut does sound right. Southern Connecticut. It's definitely a real place I've been there. <clears throat> yeah, I used to pass through when you drive from Boston to New York. You go through Westport. Um, seven of the Munsters, they lived in Mockingbird Heights, California. Oh, oh, oh Mockingbird Heights. Really? Really? Nice. Heights, California. Good, Karen. Dennis the Menace. Um, the show took place in Wichita, Kansas. Hmm. Oh. Boy, we were really close. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's in Wichita. Who right? that? There was nothing in Wichita, Kansas. No, nah, just Dennis the Menace. Who um, Bonanza. Bonanza Ponderosa was in Nevada. And um, it's either Virginia City or Carson City. I oh, said Carson yes. City and they uh, said Virginia City, so we went with Virginia. Yeah. Both the same. It's real close. There, it's like in between the two, kind of. And finally, the uh, the Petries and the Dick Van Dyke show lived in New Rochelle, New York. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, we got no, that. Right, but now I remember them saying it. Yeah, New Rochelle. Rochelle. Mm. That really yeah, rings really bell now. Well, we got a our yeah. answer. We got a few. <laughs> Yeah, a few. We got yeah, less than that. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Was it an irrational number? Yeah. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so still have that widespread. Kenny okay. Kennedy Rogers, the tin foil ticket. Um, we got well, five again. Yeah, five. We keeping up our trend, yeah. Five yeah. again? You had last time at four. Well, pretty close. <laughs> Right okay. Mince meat with whipped cream, cherry, apple crumble, and lemon meringue. I think you should just mix those all together. Ugh. Four. Not four. Okay. Herb proved his own memories were some Bidens. Also four. Four. God, you guys are so sad. Listen to you give your scores like this actually is like counts or something. <laughs> like you, right. you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna save you a lot of numbers before you get to ours. Is we got an eight. Oh, eight. Uh, wow. Oh, shit, that would have taken a while. I'll be on that team in a minute. Yeah. I'll bring it down. Don't worry. Um, Psychic predicts Trump will die on an American holiday. Any day he dies will become an American holiday. Seven. Ooh. Uh, I was on that team. I want you to know, I, I actually didn't really. You help, actually gave us I was some. On that team. I was on that team and I didn't, I didn't talk anybody out of any right answers. And you helped. <laughs> I don't think I helped. Uh, all right good job jamie no, and Milwaukee. last but not least it is faith right oh carl <laughs> look at her face <laughs> Faith looked absolutely stunned <laughs> she's Sorry, going faith. next week right she's gonna do oh a, i don't have next week you guys thank you again for reminding me before we go anywhere i have carl next week and next week uh deborah and i are driving so we're going to try to get to our hotel room, our, our house before trivia. But if not, Rob will open up the rooms and all that stuff. So I need to next week or we're not moving any further to the bonus round. I'll volunteer. Yeah. I all done right. in a while. Karen's volunteering. Is that you, Leonard? Nope. Oh, Janine has her hand up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think Faith's waving her hand around too. I can do it from, from the airport. I do not. I do no. not have the mental capability to do that. Sorry. I need a bonus, and I need a final. I mean, a bonus, and I need one more. Come on. Don't make me volunteer you. I can do one. I'll do one. Okay. Yay! Later. What a sport. I need a bonus. Who's got a bonus in him? Peggy. I can do a bonus. Oh, Lee's got a bonus. bonus is easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay, so. And the following week, I have Rob on. 
and that's it. But we can deal with that later. Okay, yeah. so now, so Susan, do you, yes. do you have a six sided die handy? A six sided die. I have a six sided <laughs> die that has different numbers on each side. Yes. Okay, roll it and tell me what the number is. Three. Okay. Now we know what bonus round we're doing tonight. Oh my! <laughs> He's got that mini. It's all your Ready to go. And the please subject is. Please be easy. Please be easy. Unfortunately, <laughs> name Bruce name the country with navies with the most combat submarines in the world. Caspian. Ten, ten countries. Roll again. Roll again. Roll again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we want the supplemental number. <laughs> <laughs> I that word navies doesn't even look right. Is that spelled right? N A V I E S? That looks like naive. That's, that's oh, right. right. <laughs> most oh combat and you don't have to get them in the right order. Yeah. Oh well thanks. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Do we have to get All right. right. Let's go to our room, Sinister All Rooms. All right. Breakout rooms. Top 10. You've made Open me sad. Rooms. Oh, my God. It's all Susan's fault for the roll to die. Oh, good Lord. This one works out great. We lose Carl and we pick up Susan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Okay. So, we went to USA. Yeah, we probably U.S. would be a good uh, choice. How about England? I'm assuming, or should we uh, say U.K.? Oh, I would assume Russia. Russia. China. Okay. Australia and, has a lot, don't they? Well, they were up there with uh, Could be. And oh, weren't they, the... didn't we just work out a deal with them for nuclear submarines? It's possible. Um, Canada? What do you I think? don't know. I don't think Canada does. Okay. How about? Um, well, I would assume um, England. Yeah, well, the UK. UK. Yeah, I'll go um, UK. What about Japan? Pardon? No, huh? No, I don't think so. Vietnam? No. Possibly France. France is a good one. I know they have nuclear subs too. Yeah. Spain? And Italy? I mean, they I'm got all sure. that water around Italy there. Yeah, but I'm not sure what kind of a navy they have. An Italian now, one. Now, Germany used to. I'm not sure what they've got now since World War II. Are you guys. We've not... been saying Japan this entire time and realized we've been muted. Oh, you oh. Guys are really okay. Fun. So you think Japan? All right, we'll go with them. Yeah. I just wonder you were being awfully quiet on this yeah, one. Yeah, I thought, wow. <laughs> well, he, he wanted my Hulu password, and he types it in and doesn't realize he put a space at the end. He's like, it's not working. What about, about uh, North Korea? No, I don't think so. North Korea don't have shit. Um, how about uh, something in okay. South America, like down by Argentina? Argentina. Oh, Brazil. Argentina or Brazil? Brazil has a lot of... Well, Brazil was one of the ones that had an aircraft carrier in the, in the last question. Oh, that's, that's true. I was trying to remember the aircraft carriers from that was it two weeks ago. Yeah. He had one, right. I think also an aircraft carrier, he said. But do you think Argentina... Our, Australia think doesn't have aircraft carriers. No, well, but they have... They have okay. Okay. Okay, we're at 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, if you add Spain and Italy in there. I think I think North Korea had one. Wasn't there something in the news about... It's a wind-up. I could put them on there. That could be. But it says most. If anything, they have one. Well, yeah, I don't know how many of these other ones have. Trying to think what other countries. I mean, I could put Spain in there, but I don't. I brought know Spain much. and Italy. All right. But that's giving us 11. I know. And I'm still not sure those are the right 11 yet. Um,
if this is World War II, it'd be Germany, but. Um, I would, I would think that, um, but doesn't, doesn't Japan not have a military? They do, yeah. They have a military. They, they had do. an aircraft carrier uh, on the last. They would have a navy more than anything else. I mean, the entire country is as big as. I the thought East. they were not supposed to have a standing army. A standing army is different than a standing navy. As as a matter of point, I don't think this in any way interferes with the fairness. They have a self defense force. <laughs> okay. Which is why I'm wondering about Germany also, because they, you know, they're a big part of NATO and all that stuff, and they used to have, you know, one of the biggest fleets of submarines back in World War II. I'm wondering, as part of their defense, they've managed to rebuild that amount. Well, I'm going to put them on here, and then we're going to have to knock some off. Well, we got twelve. Yeah, I think North Korea's got to go. Yeah. yeah. I would. Too stupid. Yeah, that gets us back to eleven. Okay, so which one would we take off? Brazil, Italy, Germany. I might go Australia. Australia. Take off Australia. Yeah. You really think so? Because I remember yeah. him just recently selling. Uh, Trump was. Um, oh, somebody was trying to Trump. sell nuclear secrets. Um, Australian secrets. Hmm. Then let's... I would have knocked off Spain. Okay, take off Spain. Oops. I'm documenting temperatures. 57. Yeah, I'm apologizing in advance if Canada is one of the countries, but I didn't think that... He does say that... combat, and I wouldn't have thought of Canada as a Combat. I mean, I know they are, but so I said combat so was to differentiate between like rescue submarines and crap like that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, or the ones yeah. going down to the Titanic, or yeah, anything for undersea exploration. <laughs> yeah, there was James Cameron would be on that list. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or the one that exploded. What was it called? Yeah. Um... Oh yeah, right. Why are we bringing that up? Why are we bringing it up? Because <laughs> they were in a thing. They were in one of those little thingies. Oh, the world was just hooked on that for ages. For like a week. It felt like forever. Because we were all just like, at least I was. I was like, what? What is going to be the answer? What is going to be the answer? Uh, I, I think most people knew early on. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, when you have a PlayStation 1 controller. A PlayStation, 2, <laughs> or PlayStation 2, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, well, that makes all the difference then. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me double check it with my list. China. Australia. Why is it telling me? Took Spain yeah. off, huh? Italy's still there. Germany. Japan. So we took Brazil off. Oh, no, Brazil's still there. Where is it getting the precipitation? Just... What about India? India last time we yeah, India? that's yeah. Did they have a? I'm trying to remember. Did India have a? They didn't have, they didn't have an aircraft carrier. Mm -hmm. Not that you need one for submarines, but right. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just despite the fact that so much of it is surrounded by water, I just don't think of the Indian Navy. Yeah. They're too busy fighting Pakistan in the north. Mm -hmm. Well, they have, yeah, they have nukes, right? So they might. Yeah. Um, nuclear subs, yeah. Well, they have nuclear weapons. They have nuclear weapons, but I don't, I can't think of India as having. It doesn't maybe. come to mind fast, like. Yeah, let's. I think. Well. Yeah, time. I think so. Ooh, we're gonna finish early tonight. Damn. By the way, my background has nothing to do with the trivia round. It's three fourteen. So, yeah, that's the St. Louis area code. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yes. It's the same as uh, Pi Day. Yeah. 
yeah, so there, there's all sorts of uh, three, one, four day celebrations going on around St. Louis. So the, if you go to the aquarium at Union Station, they're take, they're knocking three dollars and fourteen cents off the price of admission for the day. What if you try to call at three one four one five nine? Is that? Possible? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, Eight I six seven five. I am not as familiar with the one five nine exchange. I've never heard of a three one four one five nine. All right. What are the what are the digits? Three one four. Three point one four one five nine. Two six five, depending whether you round or, or knock off either. Well, three it's, it's one five nine even. One five. One five nine. I need another digit. Three point one four one. Three point one four one. Are you calling one, it right now? Two six. Uh huh. Five three. Okay. Deep into it. You're gonna call it. <laughs> Just start uh -huh. typing pi into your number until it until it starts calling something. Yeah. That actually is a phone number. Call it. I'm not calling it. You can call it. Ask them what they're having for for. Uh... Right. I'll call it and wish them happy Pi Day. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> now I'm curious here. Chris will have her, they'll have her phone number. It's not a valid phone number. Oh man, that would have been so cool. Ten seconds. Eight six seven five three. The the Uranus Sideshow Museum has made a post about it. The who? It, Uranus. I don't say Uranus. That was short and sweet, and God, I hope we got some. Right. Yeah, we're gonna be out of here early tonight. My eye is really killing me. I think I. What did you do? Uh, I I slept with my makeup on last night, and I. I don't know. I just did something weird, and it's been bothering me all day. The bright lights and everything are bugging me. It's really it's red. the it's the negative karma it, from I saying all those bad hat things on about ages. <laughs> That's where the that... alien probed you last night. <laughs> <laughs> is Susan? Is it sore? Is it does it is it painful and sore? Um, it feels like there's something in it, like had something oh. in it. Oh it's no, they often leave implants. But... They often leave that's, implants. That's that's what like it is. Then caught in there, yeah. and it, yeah. it's not enough to scratch it, but it's enough to be a. Well, irritant. don't scratch it anyway. Yeah, you know. If sometimes right. the sometimes the implants gestate into you know living creatures, just... <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they look like cat hair. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm trying to ignore it. Very today. much so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. what do you got? As long as it's not demons. Yeah, well, well, chocolate demon. Choc chocolate demon. Cho chocolate great. demon. At number oh. 10 is Greece. Yeah. Number 9, Turkey. Oh, three. Turkey. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Number 7, Greece. Iran. Number 6, South Korea. Number 5, Japan. 4, North Korea. Mm. 3, China. North Korea. The United Amazing. States. And number 1, Oh, Russia. man. So we got 3, 4, mm. 5. I think the we got UK 5. The UK just missed the top 10. At number eleven. Oh, Greece, Turkey. Mm -hmm. Now these are oh, quantities, wait, not wait, necessarily wait, quality wait, of them, Russia. Quantity of submarines. Yeah, holy crap! I missed. I missed them. So I'm hoping Rob was able to. Oh, I actually did write them down. I'm. I'm. It's in the. It's in the. I can't believe we forgot China. I know. Probably yeah, the Asian countries. In, in, I'm China. shocked at Japan. I mean. South Korea, yeah. okay, good. Japan. I guess oh, Rob, that's because Japan of Japan did have submarines in World War II, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, hey, you know, they lost the whole thing and we occupied them. And I thought basically we made them get rid of all the military stuff. And I know their constitution is very anti militaristic. So yeah, they, they still maintain a defense force. Mm. So Germany, you both got where's Austria. Germany on that list? Oh, yeah, uh, not there. Not on it? Not there. They're not on it at all, huh? Is that no. Russian one up to date? Well, you can look at that link I posted haven't we just gotten rid of oh, one of more okay. didn't ukraine get rid of one more uh submarine in russia uh, get rid of it yeah. <laughs> that count is going down nice way to put it they got rid of it turkey now i was sure that switzerland would be on that and i just <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. germany is not in the top 15 Liechtenstein. wow yeah we changed that turkey <laughs> wow Back. I'm sorry. Now we should have stuck with Turkey. China. Yes, we should have. I forgot all. I mentioned Turkey. it because it was one of those air traffic aircraft carriers, Turkey, last time. Wasn't that a surprise? Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Yeah, we removed at least three of those. Yeah, okay, this is an up twice One of North Korea's submarines has accidentally beached itself yeah. spying on South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> How awkward. <laughs> Well, and North with their Korea missile when they, when they tested their they tested their missile and it blew a hole in the bottom of the boat and they sunk. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of these ones we that, that were in the top fifteen, we got like thirteen and twelve and eleven. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, just not our day. But golf. Yeah, I, was, I was I was I was very surprised that the UK was not in the top ten. Yeah, but. Yeah. It's kind of like, I know they're an island nation. It's it, well, it's you know, it's. I'm sure if if you ask, oh look at Peggy's got her oh, Peggy, you so ask defense cute. experts of their of who what they thought the the best quality submarine fleets in the world, UK ah, might get the top ten. Right, North Korea probably wouldn't be in the top ten. Right. So does George have his own hat? Peggy? Oh no. <laughs> oh Peggy, he's. Susan, he's Welsh. He's not going to celebrate this. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's more uh, more Irish than than you are. <laughs> I mean, no, I think I'm actually more Irish than him. If you shake anyone's family tree hard enough, an Irishman falls out. Okay, <laughs> not mine. Some literally. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe not. My one son, one. Not my son, and his new wife just got a dog, and they got a corgi. And it looks just like George, and it's the cutest oh. little thing you've ever seen. George, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, we got to do scores, don't we? Scores, no. Uh, no. No. I'm just sitting here going, all right. Whatever. Do we have, have to? Do we no. have to? Oh, my Everyone sister used pen. to have a corgi, and she introduced it as a German shepherd whose mother took the litamide. Wow. Okay. So where are we gonna start here? Let's start with <laughs> mince meat. They took it, they took it literally about pie day. Mince meat with whipped cream, cherry, apples, crumble, and lemon ring. I don't think I'd like any of those. Sorry. Four. Wow, you, you guys don't like any of those pies, Susan? What's the matter with you? I wouldn't eat minced meat. No way, that's disgusting. Lemon meringue. Ooh, lemon meringue is okay. delicious. Cherry I'm, pie, I'm not cherry and, and apple. You know, minced meat's cream. not made of meat. Cherry with yeah, it's not. It's, it's, it's apple and raisins. An apple crumble? No. Uh, yeah. I can't be minced friends meats. with you anymore, Susan. I'm sorry. <laughs> you eat everything. I don't. Are you going to have meat? <laughs> I <laughs> uh, All right, Bonus. Kennedy Rogers, the tinfoil ticket. Another five. We got five again. Way to wow. kick our butt. All right, Herb proved his own memory is worse than Biden's. Five we also. got a four again. No, five. We got a five? Really? USA, Russia, China, India, South Korea. Okay. All righty then. Okay, here's the two big doggies. Let's see how they do. How do you like, like, start like. start read read the team name? Three point <laughs> one four. Okay. One. Four. Oh. Woo. Oh. You, you, you led us to victory there. I was on that team. Decided. That's right. It is four. One, two, three, four. Way. I see four check marks. A psychic predicts Trump will die on an American holiday. Who's got it? Evan. Whoa! Oh, look at wow. those guys. Wow. Wow. Gail, oh, good How did you do that? How did you guys do that? Leonard, remember Jamie. Jamie, we didn't have a high score, but we had some really good conversations. Yeah, we had a great team. I, I just scrolled well, back, hey. by the way. This this was the lowest scoring game in months and months and months. I was going to say, okay. I, uh, uh, Wendy Cattle gave you a point for conversation, so you're going so to yeah. especially since she was conversing with me. Been very happy. We had lower amount of people on the teams. We started with less people than normal, yeah. and I think we laughed more. I think per I think per so. per person laugh <laughs> monitor was a little higher than normal. So I don't on know. On the Adrian Giggle Meter. We were giggle on the giggle meter. Giggle meter. You guys did a one, one, one I it was a me. <laughs> Gigglometer? That's pretty good. Let me roll a die. <laughs> Very good. What right, what is guys. the correct unit for giggle? <laughs> giggle. Oh, uh, is it Canadian or US? Giggle. Are you talking about <laughs> yes. well, Canadian clearly? Because you're a giggle queen. <laughs> oh, I can turn off that light. It's oh a gigajoule, I believe. 
Uh, uh, there we go. It's a giga got, jewel. Yeah, giggle a jewel. Gigaplex. A giga jewel. No, giggle yeah, giggleplex. Giggle. <laughs> he lives in the giggleplex. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, everybody. We're going to say an early night because my eyes are just so oh, tired, wow. especially the one. But it's been super great to spend Pi Day with you. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will Thank see you. a lot of you oh. next week. Wait Thank a second. Was that, what was that? Was that just it. the it's real life? Was that the uh, was that the bonus already? Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We won. <laughs> we won. <laughs> well, it's you did. Ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Well. It nice can happen, you know. Right. We can go hey, on Happy St. Patrick's Day, Happy, job, happy, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy the morning to you. Happy the morning. The rest of the day. Happy the rest of the day. Rest of the day, day. Oh, the rest of the day. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, happy everybody. birthday. Bye. Have a good, have a good young. From the three one four. <laughs>